Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Tunes Day Night. I'm your host, MC Toon. And uh, tonight I've got a debate with Brian Leakey. He recently said that he can't for another hour. So we've got a little, uh, a little, an hour to spend here. And what better way to begin an hour of, of uh, Flat Earth at, you know, chuckling at um, what is Flat Earth than to start with, uh, well, you'll see it in the poll, um, Flat Earth Dave admitting to what he's doing. So here you go. I'm lying. Dave's a scammer. He's just selling his app. Dave's a scammer. He's trying to steal $3 from you for his app. Dave Weiss is a scammer. Dave Weiss is a scammer. I'm a scammer. Dave Weiss is a scammer. He's just trying to sell his app. Dave's a scammer. Dave Weiss is a scammer. I'm a scammer. My app doesn't work. I'm a scammer. I'm a scammer. I'm just trying to sell apps. Um, I know the earth isn't flat. Mm. Dave's a moron. Mm. Dave's an app scammer. Dave just mm. wants your money. Dave's a scammer. I'm a scammer. Dave's a scammer. He's selling a useless app. I'm a scammer. Dave's a scammer. He's just selling apps. He doesn't believe the earth is flat. I'm the scammer trying to sell an app. That's all I'm trying to do. So I'm I'm, I'm giving you all this bullshit. <laughs> there you go. Finally, Dave tells the truth. It's rare. It's rare for dearth to tell the truth. But there it is. He did indeed tell the truth in that instance there. Let's see. Oh, I got it. I'm not talking with Daniel uh, Benga. So I got to get that off the off the screen. But everybody, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Um, there we go. Well, special welcome to Axis and Penny. Hello. Um, Penny can't watch live right now. Watching later, I hope. So, um, <clears throat> yes, Eric Burns says, as I said before, he should keep the hat on. <laughs> the hat's an improvement. Um, <clears throat> If you're not, if you haven't seen it, on Friday I put out a video um, where I uh, I identified a long, long debunked um, thing that Flat Earth Dave, or Dearth, as some people say, um, uh, it's deep inside the rabbit's hole, um, or uh, it's spelled D-A-T-R-H, but people, even Flat Earthers, pronounce it Dearth. Um, his name is David Weiss. Anyway, it, it, make sure you vote in the poll. There's a poll. It's very important to get your vote in for the poll. Um, so the video I put out, I, I, I found it several times where he said that a, a, uh, a photograph, or not a photograph, a, uh, a meme basically, was on uh, Devon Island and that it was on instead of Mars, right? So it was, it was from the Mars rover. He didn't know which Mars rover it was supposedly from, but he insisted that it was on NASA's website. Let me get uh, get the uh, I'll get the picture up. Now he did not. He did not do his own research. Not not even a little. Um, there it is. Okay. So here's uh, here's the. I'll get it up here for you. There it is. This is this is this is him in an actual video talking in on a like a podcast with someone somebody else's podcast. That's the meme. At the top there you see it says Mars versus Greenland. And Flat Earth Dave says it's on Devon Island, Greenland. But of course Devon Island is Canada. Now, that's not the problem. That's not the lie. That's just demonstrating that Dave is a sheep because it says on the meme, Greenland. And he thinks it's Devon Island. He was suggested by the meme, Greenland, but he was also suggested by something else that it was Devon Island. And he constantly says Devon Island, assigning it to Greenland when it's in Canada. Just a little, like, little lack of attention to detail that he does. Showing that he's easily swayed right it says it says greenland so he says it's greenland but he thinks it's devon island so he says it's devon Island. in reality though that is in ireland on the the photograph on the right is from ireland it's called the burren in ireland the burren i don't know if i'm pronouncing that wrong irish people speak kind of english um uh and that particular photograph 
Um, I mean, that particular photograph is on a Wikipedia page. Let me let me show you. Now, now I, I know a lot of you have seen it, and I appreciate that you've seen it. But here here's the Geology of Ireland uh, Wikipedia page. And if we scroll down, there it is. There's the photograph. That right there. That's not Devon Island. That's not Greenland. That's the Burren in Ireland. And it's and it's a picture from <laughs> it was uploaded 2006. Right? Um, but it's it's even worse than that. Um it's farther back than that. The actual uh page where it was found, because they on Wikipedia a lot of the time they they keep the actual um the original archive.org link to it so people can find it. So uh, there it is. Here is the original archive.org link. Oh, it's not found anymore. What's up with that? It was there a bit ago. Something changed. I wonder if somebody changed it. Anyway, I have the I have the actual um, the photograph. It was it was from a guy called John Sullivan. So I won't put I won't uh, hunt that down right now. Anyway, um, from 2002. Now the Mars rover that that um, Dearth is claiming here. This you see that corner there, right next to his 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 mouth there. That little bit of uh, some a post with some uh, white and some cross cross hatches there. That is actually from the Mars Spirit rover that landed in two thousand four. The photograph from Ireland is from two thousand two. Um, <clears throat> That little bit is from the actual rover, and so then somebody, I found the video and with help some from some people, uh, Charles from Flat Earth Math, and somebody else emailed me the full thing, uh, I, the original 1080p video of the guy making that the the NASA Mars landing denier, making that that one up there, that reddish one. It was made, I, the video of the guy manufacturing it, the anti-NASA guy manufacturing it. And how many times did, did, uh, did I find Dearth saying that this was on NASA's website? Dozens, dozens of times he said that. He never checked. He either believed somebody else or because it's nowhere on the meme. The meme doesn't say it was from NASA's website. I, I can't find, there's other copies of the same meme. None of them say this is from NASA's website. But Dearth says it's from NASA's website. Where did that come from? I have to assume that Dearth invented that, that he just made that up. He certainly could not have ever looked it up because if he had done his research, I didn't, I didn't get into all of this in the, in the video. So I think, I think uh, you might appreciate some of this. Um, <clears throat> additional research that I did. Um, I'm not going to give it all away though, because Dearth has some more lies to tell. And uh, if he's watching this, I don't want to, I don't want to give away everything that I know, but uh, I'll, I'll show you this. Here is from, oh, no, oh, hold on. There you go. Here is a Reddit thread, a Reddit thread from uh, let's see. Do you see that? It's from 2017. You don't see that, but I'll put it in the, the chat. Everybody can go look at it. That's from 2017. That is exactly the same thing that Dearth is showing here. That's the same meme. The same one. It's actually a little higher quality maybe than what he has. I don't know. Right? But but that's not just 2017. Right? It doesn't go back to just 2017. This is, oh, this is a Reddit thread debunking it, right? Uh, that they, they figured out where it was. It goes farther back than that. Uh, this one is from 2015. It's the same, it's the same photograph, but they're in, they're on the opposite order, right? They're flipped left to right and it doesn't say Greenland, but the bottom one, it says Ireland. You see that? It says Ireland. Um, <clears throat> so this and this is from 2015 so specifically august 6 of 2015 so if flat earth dave had done his research he would have found this and he never would have made such a ridiculous claim 
that this was on NASA's website somehow, right? But it goes back farther than that. So that was, uh, yeah, this one is August. August uh, 6. You can't see it. If you hover over the thing, uh, you can you can see it. Um, I'll, I'll give it to you in the, the comments here. There you go. And then, but then somebody on there links right here, links to an older one, which is right here. But the, the post, the post was deleted. It was deleted. So somebody posted this in 2015, July, July 16 of 2015. So there you go. There's the, there's the, the longer one, uh, as far back as that. So, and, uh, yeah, and in, in, uh, well, two years ago, this one was. So, oh yeah, this is good. So, <laughs> so the different people have uploaded, um, for fun have uploaded like mocking pictures of it. There you go. There's that same Rover in Yosemite. See, people were just messing around. No doubt, if Dirth saw this, he would make the same claim. So, uh, I love that one. I mean, so there was there was kind of a, a an explosion of people making these um, these kind of memes, joking about it. Anyway, so there you go. There's Dirth, and and his his resistance to doing research there, but that you know. How did he say that? How did he come to think that that was right? I don't know, but this is important. This is very important. He did not do his own research. He claimed it was on NASA's website. It's not. I have more that I'm not going to share with you right now. Um, I offered Dirth, you, you may be familiar with my challenges, a monetary prize, $10,000 Dirth. Should you find the uh, the photo, the URL, the URL on NASA's website to that on the left there, Dave, $10,000. And if you can't, you're just a liar. You provide it, you get $10,000. You don't provide it, you confirm you're a liar. There you go. Um, <laughs> Citizen 9 says, shame Dave's not here tonight. <laughs> That'd be fun. Yeah, Dave's not here, man. Um, he would never. Oh no. I emailed him. He doesn't respond to my emails. But you know what he did do? Um he did he did post, I won't say how I got it, but I got a link to an unlisted video right here. I this this is um have a look at this. Everybody go go look up there. And and if you would, this is my conspiracy tunes community po page. Community pages don't get a lot of notifications. I'd love it if everybody just gave it a thumbs up or a uh, uh, a, um, a comment on there just to get a little more traction on the post. But there's a link to a video that Dave did responding to me. Does he actually defend his lies? No, of course not. All he can do is attempt to mock and ridicule. That's the only thing he has. He puts a demon face over my over me while I'm while I'm talking. And he I don't know why. He he just lets me talk. And I'm tearing him apart in in the video that he posted. And and the title of the video is Flat Earth Dave is a liar. Again, he's correct. Um I don't know why it's he he did this. It makes no sense, but this is important. Right here you can see. What about the alleged, oh, hold on there. See what he did. Um, that's all he did. And he, and he played my video. Like, <laughs> what, what are you thinking, Dave? But this is it right here. This is the important part. What about that alleged Marge Mars photo link to come link to come now, Dave, I know you can't do it. I know because I haven't shown you all my cards. I know you can't do it, but do Dave do definitely try to produce something. It will be just be another lie. And that that's what liars do when they're caught lying. They lie more. Um, 
it's a, uh, if you look up pathological liars, what they do and how they behave when they're caught in a lie, they lie more to cover it up. So, <clears throat> uh, anyway, that is, uh, that's the video. I, I really enjoyed that video making it. I hope that, um, I hope you did. And let me, uh, let me get, uh, I, 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 I write, oh, sorry. I write, I write email filtering software. I've been doing that for a long time. And so when I write email filtering software, what I'm doing is I'm blocking scammers from getting emails into your inbox. That's what I've been doing. I love doing that. Um, and, and it used to just be pills to make your, your manliness more manly, but it's definitely switched. And now it's much more aggressive. It's taking money. It's just directly trying to take money from people. That's what they're doing. So, um, when I first saw flat earth, and flat earthers doing what they do. I'm like, that's exactly what I've been doing for years. Stopping scammers. So Dave Weiss, whether he believe, I don't care if he believes it or not. He's a scammer. He is going where he can go to get on people's things, to, to say, download his app, and fakes that he has an actual challenge. Multiple people have submitted entries to his challenge, and he hasn't made, he hasn't, accepted them right he has this nebulous um you know just one proof of the globe that's what he says well what is the objective measurement criteria for accepting it what is it nothing he has exactly no criteria to accept it he will just blanket reject everything because he's not put his he's not put himself on the line he doesn't have the balls to do it because he knows if he wrote specific, objectively measurable criteria, a, they would immediately be met. He doesn't have his money in escrow. He doesn't have uh, independent judging. He doesn't even have rules that are written down. Even if they're nebulous, he doesn't have written down rules. So basically, every time he's said the challenge, it's been a different collection of words. Each of those challenges is a, is a unique challenge. I don't know how legally binding that would be, but uh, could it be that every single time he, he said that, that was a unique saying of it? It's a unique challenge. I don't know. He also didn't put a limit on the number of times somebody could win. The number of times anybody could win. He did not put a time frame on it. So everybody watching the chat right now, everybody watching this video, you too could enter the challenge that Flat Earth Dave has, has uh, submitted, that has issued, right? He says it's for three Bitcoins. Now, of course, uh, mm -hmm. we know how truthful he is. He specifically lied about, about the NASA photo. Um, he specifically, I pr previously found a video uh, in several times where he was talking about he had a series of photographs from Apollo 11 and they were labeled Apollo 9, Apollo 11, Apollo 12. They were all from Apollo 11. None from, uh, none from 9 and, none, and it wasn't the one from 12. Where did that come from? He lied again. He did not do his own research. He might have just labeled them himself. I don't know. It doesn't matter though. He told a lie. So some people nitpick on what's a liar. Does it need to be intentional? Does it need to be non-intentional? Well, um, a person that tells a lie is a liar. Go with that definition, then he's a liar. So um, if it's if it's uh, unintentional, like they have a psychopathic problem, they're still a liar. So... Um, so anyway, so I killed the funny Nigerian Prince email scams. Yes, um, those were those were so so easy to block um, because the because their English was so bad, right? They're like salutations of the day. Who says salutations of the day? So like we see a message that says salutations of the day, 
good luck delivering it. <laughs> um, uh, we should start a class action suit against Dave. Now, I don't know. How, I don't know enough about the legal system to know how any of that could be pursued. I would definitely love it if somebody, especially if somebody was a lawyer and could could do it themselves, and is in Connecticut where Dave lives, and wanted to actually file against him. Certainly, um, that could happen. And and there's there's no shortage of of things that could be presented. Right. He's like, just one. Well, that I could, you know, easily put together 10,000. No kidding. Easily 10,000. Super, super easy. 10,000 proofs of the globe for some definition of proofs of the globe. So <laughs> Frank Burns, unblock the Glenn autograph. I've got it's up there. I know it's uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll tell you what. I get it. Not right now, though. Uh, I always wondered why you are so critical on lies. Now I understand since you explain how you have super honed detection ability from writing spam software. Yeah, it's <laughs> Janusz Tech says salutations of the day. It is. It, you know when I was when I it, it goes back to when I was a kid. When I was a kid, and and you know if I did something wrong, I, I wouldn't. I would just admit to it. And my parents are like, oh. At least he doesn't lie. <laughs> um, yeah, so I get in trouble. I just say what I did. Um, so, you know, I think I think it's important for people to be honest. And so that's part of it. That's just part of what I've been about. So when I see people so blatantly lying and on top of it scamming, then yeah, I'm uh I'm I take it I take it a little little more. So um King Cruz says, I have some primo diet air in mason jars. I'm happy to sell you some. Well, maybe, maybe when I'm down in Florida, we can hook up. Um, uh, I get called. I, 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 you probably all do a little bit, but I get a lot of calls um, because a few times in doing research for the email stuff, I gave my actual phone number in the, um, in, in the research. I, I, since then I've, uh, I use a different one, but um uh oh no hold on hold on uh they're wondering on discord um because uh because brian brian had to move it back so extra j says salutations of the day good sir do you know the times i do, I, I do know the times um, okay, let me read a few things here. Serena News One said, Thank Titicaca, it's Tunes Day at the Temple of Toon. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, Amadeus Arkham says, Axis Penny and Gordo here, ready for the show. Oh, Gordo. Right. Well, hello, Gordo. I I, uh, I think I know who Gordo is as well. Hello. Brianna Johnson says, Brian is singing, Please Let Me Go. Please, please release me. Let me go to the hostage takers. <laughs> He'll be free shortly. Nobody should suffer that long. Poor hostage takers. <laughs> yeah, Leaky will be here. Brian will be here in, in just, just a little over half an hour. Um, Citizen 9 says, shame Dave's not here tonight. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, I mean, I, I have invited him to come face me. But, oh. No, he's he's not interested. Mr. Uh, uh, spectroscopy needs a container. Yeah, Mr. Spect spectroscopy needs a container is not here. Um, okay, somebody, all right, we've got Chris says check Discord general text chat. Um, do, do, do you mean the, the Canadian... The worst Canadian crime ever. Um, all right, let, let's have a, let's have a look. This is, this will be good. The great Canadian maple heist, maple syrup heist. Now I saw this earlier. Um, I saw, <laughs> all right, how does this work? Um, 
was theft over several months from 2011 to 2020 from 2012 of nearly 3,000 tons of maple syrup valued at uh, 18,000 18 million of Canadian dollars which is about um 75 American dollars from a storage facility in Quebec the facility was operated by the um some French some Frenchy thing um Oh no, that's Federation of Quebec Maple Syrup Producers, or in French, that thing, which represents 77% of the global maple syrup supply. No kidding. No kidding. Oh, hold on, I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> Adjusted for inflation, the heist was the most valuable in Canadian history. Jeez. <laughs> I did not know they had 77% of the global maple syrup supply oh my gosh so that's the origin of the group the theft over the course of several months nine nine and a half thousand barrels were stolen in a suspected insider job it was stolen stored in unmarked white metal barrels inspected only once a year <sighs> thieves use truck to transport barrels to remote sugar shack where they siphoned off maple syrup Refill the barrels with water, then return them to the facility. As the operation progressed, the thieves started siphoning directly off the barrels without refilling them. Because nobody nobody was checking. The syrup was trucked to the south uh, and east, where it was trafficked in many small batches to reduce suspicion. Oh my goodness. 17 people were arrested. Oh, and we've got the names even. Rich, Richard... Something there, Raymond's. Oh, it looks like they're brothers, or re, uh, father of father of Richard. Richard. Um, uh oh, a uh, Saint Pierre. Is this is he related to Shane Saint Pierre? Ha ha ha. Uh, no, I don't know. New Brunswick-based syrup reseller. Ah, uh, there you go. Anyway, amazing. That's that's funny. That is, that's the wrong post though. What? That's the post. I mean, that was funny. Which post am I, Chris, which post? Um, I see one from NASA. What is this? <clears throat> uh, 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 it doesn't look, I don't know. You, you're going to have to. You have to tell me. Kevin Brown says, I'm moving to Rochester, Minnesota, just in time for the white stuff. Oh, Rochester. I've been to Rochester, a fine town to drive through. No, it's actually, it's a great place to live. Uh, you can stop at the Apache Mall. And uh, that's all I know. <laughs> that's all I know. Um, oh, oh, in case anybody's in Minneapolis, Friday, I am going to the uh, Highway 47 Pub and Grub to see three cover bands. Um, a, an Iron Maiden cover band called Made in Minnesota, a Megadeth cover band called um, My Darkest Hour, and a Dio slash Richie Blackmore cover band uh, called Black Rainbow. If you're interested, pop by. You'll see me there rocking out. Um, all right. Look in general chat under the shoot the poop category. Oh, okay. Um, I mean, you could just DM it to me. How about you do that? <laughs> just DM it to me. Um, uh, they stole enough syrup for a kindergartner to still ask for more. Uh, oh. Henry Thurn says, uh, wait, Thrun, Thrun says, my wife and I were watching clickbait on Netflix last night. There was a quick flat earth scene. Yeah, they used to be pretty good at clickbait. Um, I think they've mostly given up on trying to get views through the YouTube algorithm. Um, cause the YouTube algorithm did change a lot of that right or wrong. It's YouTube's platform. They can do what they want. So nobody gets to complain about first amendment. Um, because YouTube gets to do what they want. That's the first amendment. Um, should they, should they demote them in, in, uh, views in, uh, searches? 
I don't know. But, and Flat Earthers are like, well, that proves, that proves, no, what that proves, it proves that you're wrong. <laughs> like, like what kind of a, a horribly dumb mindset do you have where you're like, if people are trying to not let you use their platform to spread your stuff, that doesn't make you right. <coughs> right? It probably makes you wrong. So, not absolutely either, but uh, Sean Hawkins is finishing his Stratocaster this week. All right. Get some guitar going there. Um, it's a, all right. Henry Thrawn. No, it's, it's a show that's actually called clickbait. There was a flat earther character. Oh, I see. Oh, it's a, it's not a documentary. It's a, um, like a TV show. Okay. That sounds interesting. Um, all right. I have a friend request pending from Lael. And then is that Lael going to send me something? All right. Let me read a few more of these here. Mr. E-Man gifted five memberships. Thank you for that, Mr. E-Man. And if you received a membership, make sure you thank him as well. Uh, Fa of the QTube family says, if you've ever seen an email that went around some years back from someone claiming to be Yasser Arafat's widow, she wanted me to invest his money. Yes, indeed, I have. Um, I've, I've seen... I've seen a lot of spam. <laughs> I've seen a lot of phishing messages. Um, one of the things we we do we have a we review messages, and uh, I don't I don't do them regularly, but I see plenty of reviewed messages, and uh, every once in a while somebody's like, "Hey, how come this message got through?" We're like, no, no system's perfect. It's like, all right, but next one hopefully won't. Um, but we have had also cases where there have been customers that had a pretty big exploit that came in through email. And then we, we wind up investigating and looking at all these different things. So I've seen, I've seen like the really sophisticated ones, amazing stuff. Um, I, I've probably said it before, but, and I can't be too specific, but there was a, a company where, where they, they found the accounts payable person the scammer actually uh, faked being an executive at the company saying, hey, this person's going to call you a lawyer. And then this lawyer actually called, not lawyer, this a person actually called the accounts payable person, spoke on the phone. And then from there, a, whole, an, a long series of emails back and forth including some money transfers big deal stuff so uh john blues says i blame mc tune for every spam message that i've received code better uh boba sweat says that i made stuxnet i did not did not make stuxnet um georgia hat what Hold on a second. Georgia had a ramen noodle heist. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not looking at a ramen noodle heist. This is not. This is not ridiculous heist reviews live. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. <clears throat> all right. I got a, a message request. Here it comes. Let's see. Uh, a public video of Dave. Did he? Did he public that video now? Uh, oh no. Oh, well. Why did you post the one with it? Chris? Why did you post that one? Right, Chris reposted Dave's. Dave, 16 minutes ago. Oh. But you still, you got my, you got, you got the wrong face on me. That's okay. I don't care. <laughs> um, Nearly a hundred thousand worth of ramen was stolen. That's amazing. Wow. So in, if you missed it last week, I had, I had the, the uh, Daniel Benga from um, Nigeria talking and I, 
when I got messages from him, you can believe I did a whole bunch of queries with him. I did a ton. Because when, when people from Africa, you know, I deal with them all the time. That's a large portion of what we block. And and he's like, hey, I, I'm doing this. I'm like, oh, okay, it's interesting. But anyway, talked with him a bunch and we, we did a couple voice chats and video chats. And so, uh, sh you know, tested him out there. Um, so there's a video and I can't play it. I talked about it when Benga was on last week, but um, because Vice will, will uh, copyright strike it. But Vice sent a guy to Ghana where a lot of these scammers are at and went to a, a, a juju priest or a voodoo priest <clears throat> where they, the, these people that are doing the scamming think that they need to make sacrifices to this priest in order to be successful. So it's an amazing video. <clears throat> um, and uh, Daniel's like, oh, I know who he is, the, the juju priest guy. I'm like, oh, do something with that. Not sure if I can, but... Uh, I'd love to do something to uh, to kind of shake him out a little bit. So, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Cretan Bull says, I'm a Nigerian prince who has been un unable to give away my millions. Are you the reason why? Yes, Nigerian prince. I'm the reason why you cannot get rid of your millions to random people that you've never spoken to before. You know, my, my interest in email scams started with the good times virus um the good times virus is a virus that infects human minds gullible human minds um it is an email that makes a whole bunch of claims about what the good times virus will do if you open a a message on your computer it will put your computer into an nth complexity infinite loop. Seriously, it says that. Um, it will do a whole, a whole bunch of claims is what, what it will do. But actually what the virus does is it, it infects the minds of gullible people because later in the, the email, it's coded, it's, it programs the recipient to forward that message to other people. The actual good times virus is the message and the message tells people forward this to everyone you know you think about that the person that's going to be forwarding it to everybody they know is definitely not the it person definitely not the email supervisor definitely not the right person to be forwarding an email but they don't they just like flat earthers they didn't do any investigation they didn't check to see if an nth complexity infinite loop makes any sense they don't check to see the other claims that are in the message if any of that is legitimately possible they just blindly accept what's in there just like a flat earther looking at a meme and then the message instructs them to forward it on just like flat earthers papa flurfs instruct them to go forth and spread their memes everywhere So anyway, that was that was pre Y two K. Is someone saying Y two K was fake and not, and not serious? Y two K was was overblown, absolutely overblown. It was real, but the actual risks were significantly less than than the, the people made it out to be. So, um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Sharky says, on the strange subject of food-related disasters, have you heard of the Great London Beer Flood of 1814? Eight people died, five of, five of them at a wake. Um, sewer tapes, Brian isn't here for another 20 minutes. Um, there is a, is it in Boston or New York? A molasses flood as well. Some sort of a molasses flood. Um, seriously, and people died too from that. All right, I'll, I'll look. All right, molasses flood. All right, I guess I guess that's what we're doing. We got twenty minutes. This is what we're doing. Here's the Great Molasses Flood, the Boston Molasses Disaster, nineteen nineteen. Uh. 
Large storage tank filled with 2.3 million gallons of molasses weighing approximately 13,000 short tons burst and the resultant wave of molasses rushed through the streets at an estimated 35 miles an hour, killing 21 people and injuring 150. And there's the wreckage. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to clean up molasses? Oh my gosh. Pythagoras says in Melbourne, a man drowned in a sewage treatment plant. Oh, gross. If you've ever been on a pig farm, they have a lagoon. Don't go swimming in the lagoon. Um, oh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> imagine the smell, the smell of, of molasses. That'd be pretty strong molasses smell, but at least it's not offensive, like sewage. Um, oh, jeez. Millions of liters of wine flooded a town in Portugal not long ago. <laughs> oh, pretty funny. Um, okay. Um, a whiskey flood in Ireland. The majority of the deaths were alcohol poisoning. It's a speech to Tony. Very good. All right. Let's see. How is this? Uh, how's the, the uh, poll doing? All right. With the, the question is, who is a scammer? The options are David Weiss, Flat Earth Dave, Deep Inside the Rabbit's Hole, or Dearth. So far, David Weiss is winning at 53%. Um, all right. D do they make poutine in the States? There there are places that, that do poutine. There's a place in Minneapolis I've been to called, called Burger Jones that has a, uh, they sell poutine there. Um, but it wasn't until I went there that I had even heard about poutine. So it was a while ago, but, um, Daryl Frost says, I was speaking to someone from where that molasses spill was. He said, you can still smell it sometimes. That was more than a hundred years ago. Really? I don't know. I don't know. That seems that seems a bit a bit much for a hundred years. I mean, it 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 would see seep in everywhere, and if places weren't in a hundred years tore up and replaced, okay, could still be there. I don't know. The oh my gosh, the thio thioacetone experiment in Germany, um, has to be the smelliest chemical ever. Is that the one that Nile Red tried to make? That was pretty good. Um, my um, Mr. Chilwin Minor lo Lobster Heist in Bo Boston only worth ten thousand dollars. <laughs> Everybody's googling finding food-based heists. <laughs> All right, we got the biggest one. We already got the biggest one, the Canadian one. Um, <clears throat> what? Oh, look at that! Got a I just got a, I just got a s'more handed to me. Hey, that's pretty nice. Hmm. <laughs> pretty good. All right. I don't. I don't know how it was made. We don't have, we don't have a microwave. Um, R Richie Rugg says I've never had a s'more. Well, and well, anyway, so we don't have a microwave, and it's too, um, it's a little rainy, so it, it, it nobody started a fire. Hmm. There you go. <laughs> did you ask today? I bring it up for the class? No, I did not. Um, okay, yeah. So Brenda debates says poutine is French fries with gravy and stuff. Um, yeah, they, so they put gravy on top of French fries. Um, at Burger Jones, they have some sort of a poutine tower that they make. Um, Brenda, have you ever been to Burger Jones? Um, any, anybody from uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul area been to Burger Jones? 
Yeah, Tau software. No micro. It, it it died a few years ago. We threw it out. And just never replaced it. Uh, so. Yeah. Um. And Burger Jones. They. Oh. It's definitely not a health food store. A restaurant. They have um, deep fried cheese curds that they put gravy on too. Yes. Take a cheese. Hook a cheese. Deep fry it and then pour gravy on it. I mean. If that doesn't scream, <clears throat> clogged arteries, nothing does. So oh, here you go. All right, Tara. <laughs> that would be Ms. Dickoff. Says you should look up um, azoazide azide. So reactive that's storing it isolated without any light in a basement set the concrete on fire we know this because that's what they were shouting we know this because that's what they were shouting i don't know ah uh, i don't know what that means all right hold on i'm almost done thank you for the this more I got some chocolate on my hands. Hmm. Um. I don't have any napkins here. All right. All right. I was about to read this from Mr. E-Man before the s'more appeared. Mr. E-Man says, this is by compensa compensation for the lake of measurements of flatness. You mean the, la the lack of measurements of flatness. Thank you for that, Mr. E-Man. Um, so Brian and I, so, you know, um, Brian, and I, we, we spoke, he, he has a 10 minute presentation on light and stuff. Uh, but we're specifically going to talk about the questions that we asked each other when we had the debate with, um, on Jaren's show. Oh, I got, I got to get another can of tab here going um yeah so i asked uh him i asked him and i'll and i'll put the screenshots up because um there was some confusion about about it i did not a add on flat earth to the end of the um the question right but he thinks that the earth is flat so it i thought it was implied but um i guess not um all right i'm scrolling back to find where i sent it so i will um i will show show the whole thing <laughs> sam Samadhi five, uh, it doesn't like doesn't like that I licked, the, licked my fingers clean. Sorry, uh, too bad. All right, um, I'm, I think I'm I think I'm close to where it is. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my gosh. Um. Mm -mm. Sorry, it's taken taken a long time to find it. I will get it. I will get it. And so the point is, I asked him three questions. Um, he got confused. I don't think he should have gotten confused. Seriously, it wasn't that confusing. And he couldn't answer them. But, but it was about, one was about bottom-up obstruction um <clears throat> for flat earth like what's the actual formula for bottom up obstruction how do you predict the amount of bottom up obstruction and he no flat earther has ever actually presented an equation other than 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 Brian which i i think is pretty crazy um because <laughs> cuz they like to go on and on about the Rayleigh criterion without having an idea at all about what the really criterion is. So, all right. All 
All right. That's, I'm still scrolling. Um, while I'm at it, there's a guy called PDI Industries on Facebook who, uh, who's a, a typical, uh, religious flurf. And he's, um, he sent me the other day, he said, he claimed that, um, <coughs> he claimed that, um, there is a lighthouse that you can see from 200 miles away. I'm like, dude, show, send it. He's like, oh, uh, 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 I, uh, laser, lasers can see 200 miles from, from, uh, from military ships. I'm like, well, you said, you said a lighthouse. Um, uh, and, and, uh, he, uh, he won't retract it. I'm like, dude, you lied. He's like, no, I didn't, I didn't. Um, there it is. I found it. So I'll actually send the screenshot. I'll, I'll, I'm going to pull up the screenshot so that, um, so that there's, so, because, because Brian was confused and I don't want him to be confused. I don't want any um, misunderstandings. I don't want him to think that I'm, uh, I was trying to pull a fast one by intentionally um, not, you know, intentionally being confusing. It, it should not have been, but anyway, so here, here it is. I'll put it up on screen there. There is the, so, it, so Jaren was the moderator. And so I sent to him these questions for Brian. So Brian and I are going to be discussing those questions at the top. The topics down the bottom there were the topics that I was presenting during the debate that, that Brian and I won't be talking about tonight. Um, and then, um, oh yeah, next week, next week, Tuesday, tentatively because, it, well, I think it's pretty sure, but Alan from Space Audits, we shoot a challenge on relativity to debate on Jaren's channel. I'm like, I'll do that. So that's supposed to be next week. I'm supposed to be on Jaren's next week. Um, there may be a, um, a, uh, a challenge or a change, a change in schedule. Don't know, but so, um, how brought Dale Frost, how high an elevation would the lighthouse have to be to see it from 200 miles? Not that high. And well, yeah. And they, they never, you know, they never do include refraction. I'm like, well, hold on. Well, what causes the, the bottom up obstruction? Oh, uh, refraction. Seriously. Well, how don't know. They're like, I do know, right? There's documentation and measurements of the effects of refraction in air. And, um, they're like, oh, it's just refraction. Because they don't understand because they won't look at the actual measurements of refraction in air. So they think that it's just a, a, a catch-all, uh, get-out-of-jail-free card. It's not. There's actual empirical evidence. So they use it in the same way that they think. But of course it's not. Um, so, all right. 200 miles away. What's an average... Um, uh, height of a lighthouse. Hmm. How about what's the height of the lighthouse that's on Lake Superior in Minnesota, which is Split Rock Lighthouse? It's at a um Split Rock. Split Rock Lighthouse. That one, uh, I've been to that one. It's pretty cool. It's not used anymore uh, for real, but it's still there. So focal height is 40 meters. Okay. So here we go. Here's Walter Bislin's advanced curve calculator. Observer height. So uh, when you're on a ship, uh, two meters, it'd be a, a not very high ship, but Okay, um, and then 40 meters is the target size. And then he's like 200 miles. So we need to do um, um, miles to kilometers. So we got 200 is 322. There you go, 322. So there you go, 322 kilometers. Target size 40, refraction zero, 
but that's unrealistic over water. A a realistic bottom level over over water would be um, really 0.33. So, oh, and I'll take the kitty. I don't need another one. Thank you, though. Hello, kitty. There's a kitty. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Just a second. There you go. There's raccoon. Hello. Look right here. Yeah, she's so she's so sweet. There you go. All right. Thank you. All right. Back to Walter Bislin. Got four minutes to to leaky here. Um. So there it is. At uh two hundred miles, there should be five thousand. Uh, meters obstructed. <laughs> that would be quite something. Um, and, and the amount of refraction necessary for that to, to be visible would be quite dramatic. Let's see where we, we get. Yeah, basically you have to get to complete um, 0.99, right? Which, which is unrealistic for 200 miles. So if you did see an actual lighthouse 200 miles away from two meters up, that would be uh that would be a thing definitely would be a thing but it's never been seen so uh asl and disregard refraction at sea level oh my goodness all right no refraction and then i don't know how low we can put it there you go so you can't go all the way um there you go Target size 40, so there you go. 8,000. Was that different? Was that different than what is here? Oh, no. All right. Anyway, there you go. Eight kilometers would be would be how much is uh, is blocked by the uh, bottom up obstruction of the curve of the earth. So yeah, it would be it would be quite something, Daryl. Or uh, PDI, uh, PDI Industries, um, but he won't. He won't stop. He won't stop. That's the that's the thing about flat earthers. They will never retract a claim. I'm like, you just lied. He's like, no, -uh. like, yeah, you you made the claim about lighthouses. Just all you have to do is say that was wrong. That's all you have to do. But he won't do it. And then he goes in typical religious flair. If they go into you know, making accusations of being a Satanist and all that. Um, <clears throat> which he did. And I'm like, you, you're going to lecture me when you're just lying, just blatant lying. So <clears throat> anyway, all right, let's see here, browser. I'm going to get the Discord set up here. Where is the Discord? There it is. There's the Discord. Wrong one. There we go. Discord set up. Um, need to adjust the window a little here. All right. Well, anyway, thank you for, for joining me for this pre-show. Um, I probably will, uh, probably will just clip clip the actual debate portion of it. Um, but before, before I do that, I, I read out from Ar Amadeus Arkham says, bro, Asada fires guac nacho cheese salsa beans. Ah, <laughs> uh, that, those are magical words to me. I do. I do like that, uh, that kind of stuff there. Um, <clears throat> we have our favorite Mexican places. It's, it's probably where we eat the most. It's our favorite. Our favorite is Mexican, for sure. So, I don't mean probably. I mean for sure. Chris said, there's nothing human-made that is 6.5 miles in height. I think you're right. Um, I think you're right. All right. Now, ah, there it is. There. <laughs> Look at this. They they love this so so here's here's the Discord server you've got Apocryphon who's hosting, um and you've got Rayleigh Criterion Fe, these flat earthers that don't understand Rayleigh Criterion. They never, they think they actually think that that Rayleigh Criterion causes things to become invisible. Rayleigh Criterion does not. 
Really Criterion makes it so that you cannot determine uh, detail. It's called angular resolutions. So you cannot resolve detail that's smaller than a certain amount. Look at your hand. There are cells on your hand. You can't see them unless you use something that has a larger aperture in relation to the distance from, from the cell. Then you can resolve it. And the, the Rayleigh criterion is, is uh, well understood and nothing is hidden because of it. Ah, pat in the chat right there. Uh -huh. So anyway, Brian Brian does uh he talks about Rayleigh criterion too. <laughs> I'll give you a little primer while we're waiting. While we're waiting. Um we've got oh no, I can't. I can't wait anymore. I have to jump in. I do not have permission. Hey, <clears throat> uh can see here. I'm suppressed. Hey, Mctip. Hey there. I can talk now. Yeah, I, I said it's where when people jump in, they're automatically muted, and then I'll just unmute people as we go. Oh, that makes sense. All right. Is uh, makes I don't see Brian here yet. Brian just messaged me. He said, "Sorry for the d delay. He'll be here in five minutes." All right. I've I've got a little tune shine here to 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 prime the prime the pump <laughs> all right did he he text he sent me a message saying what you guys are going to go over did, did you guys kind of already go over it together so we were we we're going to um review the the questions that we asked each other on jaron's show on jaron's show yeah okay um, Just but, double check. yeah and brian said he had a presentation which um bonus points for that um cool. yeah uh, I, I'm, I'm anxious to see it because um i mean I, I was on the the flat earth uh, society um forums f uh, t f e s dot org forums uh five years mm -hmm. ago and i was asking on there with uh tom not, not tom bishops um bobby shafto uh, Bobby and I were both asking, well, let's, let's compare the bottom up obstruction prediction for the globe and the bottom up obstruction prediction for flat earth. And Tom Bishop, who was one of the main people on the, those forums, one of the main flat earthers refused to provide any mechanism to just to explain or predict the amount of bottom up obstruction for flat earth. So it's been five years. Mm. I've been I've been asking and Brian is is the first to propose something. Oh cool. So that's what he's bringing tonight. I, hopefully. He he <laughs> gave when I talked with when I was on, on Jaren's, he gave a formula. And the formula when, when Brian reads formulas, it's not coherent. Um so I'm hoping that you know he you know, you know Brian, he gets all a little flustered and stuff and you know you gotta yeah, love gets excited. You gotta love Brian. Um, he's a good guy. He, he's a genuine good guy. He, um, he's Brian. <laughs> uh, uh, so, all right. All right well, that, I, yeah, he said he'll be in five minutes. So, you know, okay. a few more minutes. We'll, we'll let him get settled in here. But uh, his presentation, I guess he can sh share his screen or. Um, you know, send it to you to put up on your screen for your, you know, for your uh, yeah audience. I'll put it up. Um, while we were waiting, we were talking about um, uh, food related heists and that there was a giant maple syrup heist in 2011 and 2012 in Canada. Oh, what? Yep. <laughs> Some people stole millions of canadian dollars worth which is you know like you know 75 american dollars um oh, of, <laughs> of of maple syrup from a storage facility in in canada why because then they'd sell it in the black market you know the 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 oh, maple yeah, syrup yeah, black yeah. market <laughs> yeah that's like which high demand somehow exists uh <laughs> Wow, that's pretty interesting. 
So did they catch the um the uh, syrup crooks? They did, yes. Or they sticky hands, I assume. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> they they pumped it they pumped it out of the they they picked up the barrels, they brought it somewhere else, they removed the maple syrup and then they filled it back with water and then they delivered the barrels back to the storage facility. And then after a while they're like, screw this, and they just pumped it out and never and didn't fill in with water again because nobody was checking they wow. were che they were checked once a year so did they did they sell water maple syrup to everybody oh i have a feeling that when they cracked open those those uh those barrels they're like wait this this is not maple syrup <laughs> take off wow. hey you hoser that's maple syrup it <laughs> says so on the side there no uh you hoser <laughs> Take off, hey! We know. we have we have a buddy. Uh, his name's Et, and he's Canadian. I'm gonna have to bring this up to him next time I talk to him. <laughs> Tell him about the great Maple Heist of 2011. Yeah. yeah. Where were you? Right? Do you remember where you were? That that. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Cause, cause... Never forget. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. Um, it yeah. was a very sad day in Canada. Microphone. <laughs> that's hilarious man that's hilarious uh, oh right. man we're still waiting for brian by the way he, he's he's waiting. He, waiting he well he's yeah to expect brian to be on time is a bit much let's be honest um <laughs> oh man <laughs> well we'll see uh, we'll see what happens is, all right is this do i have Farm crimes. Oh, they had the leak. Farm crimes. The largest maple syrup ice in human history. Yep. Somebody covered it. <laughs> Much better than I did, so. Wow. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah, they, yeah, it looks like this guy did a whole uh, YouTube show for it. <laughs> yep. So hey, thank you for the, uh, Nicholas uh, Nico Nico posted that one. That uh, that's that's one of the turning torso is a great um, great one to look at for for the uh, the bottom up obstruction because it's so easy to measure the amount of obstruction because uh, because the turning torso had different has different sections on it that you can. You can clearly make out the uh, and the, and the height of each one is clean is uh, consistent. So, so yeah, as Stringer News one, it was Canadians Maple Syrup Strategic Reserve. A eh? yes, it was <laughs> their Maple Syrup Strategic Reserve. This one organization, it's a consortium of uh, a bunch of companies. They have seventy seven percent of the world's supply of maple syrup. That's a that's a huge chunk there. Yeah, I mean, when when does when do, does the UN need to step in and say, "I'm sorry, you are too big for your britches, there, Canadian consortium. You're gonna have to <laughs> split up into multiple," and they'll say, "Sorry, sorry, sorry, sorry," and then split up. <laughs> Break up this monopoly you got going on yeah. over here. Is there? Is there any who is the second? Like they're the the main the who's where's the second? Well, um, you know, well, highest production of syrup outside of Canada. Uh, yeah, it's probably probably United States. You know, the, the maple trees don't grow anywhere else other than the North America. Um, I, I honestly don't know. To, to when you when you harvest the syrup, don't don't ask why I know this. When you harvest the syrup it it's important that the tr that it freezes at night and it's not freezing during the day and that's how you mm. get a, a the the production out of it so it requires a specific um uh you know temperature so oh, okay got you oh well enough uh enough maple talk uh we got brian here in the building uh brian i unmuted you you just gotta unmute yourself um i got you and uh everybody else i will put on mute 
All right, you got that point. And it's, it started off saying you do not have permission to talk. I was going to be like, damn, this debate's going to suck for me, bro, if I can't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> how, yeah, how's no, everybody? I did this for that. Doing good. I, I did that so that way when the people jump in, you know, it's it's they're automatically on mute, but um, they will uh, they will be unmuted. Okay, so you guys are good to go. Um, I ask real quick. Um, because I originally do this um, this discussion or debate, whatever you want to call it, on the uh, like bottom up obstruction, and I, I got a little bit on that. You know, then we just said we're going to kind of go over the the. Uh, you know, kind of where we left off on some of the points on Jaren's. I figured, you know, pretty much optics. But I wanted to ask Tune, did you did you do, uh, prepare any kind of presentation or anything? No, I don't. I don't have anything. But uh, I can. I can. I can do stuff on the fly. Yeah, if you want to do it on the fly, that's fine. If you want to, if you want, I'll go first. I guess that's up to everybody. And um, you could respond to that, or if you want to do something on, uh, I just put together like a ten and a half minute little opener on some of the key points that I really wanted to discuss. And um, like I said, I didn't put. I do have something which I will um, elaborate on with the the celestial refraction equation. I know that if you don't have the variables, it's any any equation is pretty much worthless if you don't have the variables and such. So uh, uh, if you'd like later on in the debate, we I can demonstrate that and the, describe the variables and whatnot. The celestial refraction variables. Yeah. Well, yeah, let's let's yep, do yep. Uh, let's do first things first, I suppose. Um, I, I just want everybody to make sure that they enjoy the the clip from Super Troopers of them slamming syrup oh, that's a great movie Pat, and a Pat great the, scene Pat the chat <laughs> Pat the chat posted i i read i read up on that some of the time they were drinking syrup and they had five gallon buckets on the floor next to them because they were throwing up but also they had iced tea in some of them so there you go all right anyway what what do you got? That is Brian? a classic. What do you what do you got? That is a us? classic. It is. Yeah, if I can share screen. Yeah, First go off, ahead. Let me let me watch my audio set real quick. Give a second. All right, cool. Yeah, I was gonna say, Brian, if you just share your screen and then McToon could click on your screen, then he could probably just show that to his audience for the YouTube. Should work out. Yeah. Um. And uh, Brian, for for your benefit, there I posted the the uh, questions that I sent to to Jaron. That's the actual screenshot of my message to Jaron. So, because uh, there was some confusion, because I didn't, I wasn't clear for flat Earth at the end of the um, the two questions, the first two. So sorry uh, for that. Yeah, we'll just we'll discuss that once when we get into it yeah. and everything. That's fine. Yeah, it was. Uh, I think he's um, adapted his platform, like his debate. I think it's gonna. That was a lot to try to cover. Oh yeah. In in an was, hour and a half. He was the first so, one. Yeah, we were the first. Right, right. Yeah. So he's gonna adapt to that. But I like I like the uh, what he's doing though to to uh, you know dwindle it down and see what works the best. I'm good with all that. And yeah, that was that was fun. J Jason T All says right. uh, thinks that Brian is calling from AOL Messenger circa 1997. I'll try and adjust my audio, but I guess that's not going to matter much. During the, uh, <laughs> tell me when you see my screen, Mike. Uh, not yet. Let's see. Here it comes. It's coming. There it is. We see your torso and legs. Is that your torso right, man. legs? You see, what you got in the background is a moon. This is this was my tube. This doesn't really matter, but I mean, since I'm I ran seventy foot of tube, this really doesn't have much to do with my demonstration. But it is. I got a limp balloon, two limp balloons, um, of C pipes wrapping around about seventy feet, and I did one on one side cold to show a pressure gradient and containment, but that's not anything having to do with my debate but it, it is in the background a little bit so i figured i'd say that but um it 
Tell me if y'all can hear this. In this debate, I'm going to show the difference between the flat earth and the globe earth. The flat earth shows. I can hear it, yeah. Carry on. Those demonstrations. All of our claims, we show examples and we show real world demonstrations. They ask for numbers and equations, which they cannot demonstrate. So the equations are worthless. The numbers are worthless if you can't demonstrate it in real life. For example, when we show long distance observations or mirror flashes or lasers that would be impossible on a globe, they give us seven over six R or some other math and different equations. When we ask them to demonstrate it in real life, they give us sugar water in a fish tank. So when they try to demonstrate it, it literally shows obstruction or limits vision backing up a flat earth. It's ridiculous. So in my opener, I'm gonna show a few of them said examples. And I would ask my opponent to give us real world demonstrations of any of your claims and not just mathematics. We don't care about the mathematics until you can show it working in reality. So if you can't show it working in real life, it's just hot air. It's just an excuse. It's not an explanation until you can show it. So I'm going to ask MC Toon to table the math for a minute, show us real world examples of anything ever this is a short video i put together a bunch of random jet trails to show that it's not earth curve it's perspective making us see in a dome like in our background so basically our visual background is domed or cur it's curved in appearance the further away you get like that plane there is flying almost straight at us, but it looks like it's going straight up because it's far away. So the further they are away, the more they appear to be going straight up and straight down. When they get closer to us, like that one there, you see that it's level. So as it approaches, it uh, levels out and then starts dropping down as it goes away from us. And it can't be earth curve because let's say that plane there that's going away from us looks like it's going straight down. It's probably, let's say, 20 or 30 miles away that couldn't be more than what four or five hundred foot of drop if we lived on a ball so that's proof that it's perspective it's not earth curve jaron calls it the personal atmospheric dome which i guess is as good a term as any but it he's right it's observer dependent and the farther away, like i said the further away something gets the more it gives off that appearance so it's perspective and whatever else is going on in the atmosphere but it can't be earth curve or we'd live on a tiny ball. So I've, I've heard somebody say like our eyes are round, the earth is not. <laughs> and that makes a lot of sense if you think about it. But even if the earth were a globe the way they describe it, that would not be enough to explain or justify the domed appearance we see. It's, uh, it does not do anything to prove earth curve. Like that plane there, there, one's flying toward us, one's flying against us. So I recommend anybody who hadn't already to pick a clear day without too many clouds and just go look at the jet trails for 10 or 20 minutes. And it will teach you a lot about perspective and it will help you understand the flat earth and the way our eyes work. Hopefully now you can see all of, pretty much all of yeah, Chicago, all the lower buildings. Including, including what's at ground level. So the atmosphere really is like acting like a lens. Yes. So the atmosphere really is acting like a lens. According to the experts, say the bottom of of this little stand here uh, represents the bottom of the clouds. And so as you can see here, the light is way above, you know, it's well above what would be the bottom of the clouds in this example. So let's see what happens. I turn off the lights and set my iPhone to record and uh, I'm showing myself here recording all of this with another camera and I pulled the light back on the table and watch what happens here. Ooh, check it out. There's that refraction taking place again. It's got the light. It made the sun set, first of all, below the horizon in this case. And uh, let's just show this. And the platform represents the bottom of the clouds. So the sun's going, 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 going down. And oop, there it is. The bottom of the clouds illuminated by a light source that's well above the clouds. But uh, for anybody who hadn't seen it, uh, with just atmospheric lensing or magnification, you have the sun dropping and setting. 
and not changing size. So I thought we were just going to keep this honest, but you see the sun setting right in front of the camera, not change size on a flat earth. There's two ways that can happen, dude, with just cold air, with just a little magnification in the atmosphere. Um, you know, I so, see where this thing's going already, man. So I'm going to act so, accordingly, man. So then you're saying that the sun is literally on the ground? Because in this demonstration, the, the sun, your, your analog sun is literally on the ground here. So you're saying that the sun is literally touching the ground in reality? No. Nope. Did the oh. sun touch the ground? Did the sun and, touch the ground in either example? Yeah, and your analog is right is right on the ground there. So, okay. No, I'm saying did it actually touch the ground, though, in either example? It, yeah, it sure looked like it was. Did yeah. it reach zero? When it was just sitting above the ground in front of yeah, the camera. I mean, it looked like it looked like your analog setup that you had there had the sun right on the ground. Did it ever hit zero? Did did what ever hit zero? Did, did what ever hit zero? Example, did either example approach zero? Did what approach zero? The sun example, the white light in the first video, or the picture of the sun, or the flashlight in the second video. Did either of them touch the ground or zero? The horizon is zero. Yeah, it, it sure looked like you had placed the light or whoever did it, it had placed the light right it in the ground. Like it, yeah. But it didn't though, right? It yeah. didn't though, but it, it did disappear though, right? Yeah, so, so I, what I'm getting is that you think that the sun is literally basically right on the ground for flat earth. That's what, I'm, what getting. I'm getting. What I'm getting is that the sun right in front of your direct line of sight disappeared. There's two examples of how it could work on a flat earth plain as day without the size changing. Here is for flat earth. I, I, I don't know how this works. But that's quite amazing. That's how I think I you're going to have to explain it. We're off to a bumpy start because I just showed you in the first video with just a little bit of lensing, like they say, the atmosphere of the lens, back the sun away. It disappeared and it hit but, the bottom of the cloud. So, so you think, you think, so how high is the cloud? How high did you measure the sun to be? So I can demonstrate something. And in the same debate, you pretend you didn't even see it. So this object here, if you're, you're above it, it can never ever obscure anything greater than its height if you're above it no matter how far or how close it is or how far away it is it can never ever obscure more than the height of the object if if you're above it that's why it's critical to remember that things below true level will never appear above true level and things above true level will never appear below true level okay. so you tell me this boat is not missing more than whatever this is five foot no it is missing more because the earth is curved. This boat might be maybe two miles away, bro. <laughs> and I'm higher than that. I'm like 15 yeah. foot high, bro. Uh, this is no more than two, three miles. And I'm uh, a lot on. higher than six foot over the water. Trumpets. So the horizon, that boat is not behind the horizon. And it, this wave is, I say, five foot exaggerating. It might be three foot. It's going to block a lot. I mean, it's going to kind of a second wave. And an, on another boat, it's going to be blocked a lot. <laughs> on orthographic view, you got a point, Trumpets. But when you look in through a first person point of view, uh, I give this to to Randy, for example. He's gonna. I mean, he's, he's here, visual. Look at this boat. How much is gonna be hidden by by? Wait for well, listen, oh. listen, you're saying exactly what we're saying, um, which is on a curved surface, it would do that because the line, because the line to the boat is under is, is underneath your line of sight. This boat is not behind the curve because I'm a lot higher than the horizon should dictate for this boat to be behind it. I hope I didn't lose. You think that's two miles away? Yeah, Jose films it a lot, so he, he kind of knows his location. Right, that's gone. That building's gone isn't it? And that yeah. building's yeah, must have at least one it story is. on it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how big those waves are, but they don't look huge. No, they're not huge. They're... Uh, what would you think if you took a, an auto level out and looked through the scope and say 25, say 30 miles away, you still had a, a obviously a water horizon, but the auto level scope is below the water horizon. What would you think of that? I doubt that it ever would be. It is, well, about five, six foot it was, actually. Yeah, yeah. Just, and I would not question it at all. But, but say, sorry, you're saying the horizon is below the horizontal, which is what you'd expect. The, uh... No, he said the crosshairs of the yeah. auto level was below the horizon. It's critical to remember that things below true level will never appear above true level. And Oh, right. Oh, okay. Sorry. Right. Okay. That is a bit weird. Yes, yeah. Okay. Threw us off completely. Uh, it, it's really weird to me to, to think that you're six foot off the water or so and that you can have a level scope and look through the scope and basically the Great Salt Lake has been, you know, loomed up uh, a good amount. I mean, it, it really doesn't make sense to, to my mind, truthfully. It's looming up. If the water's looming up, 
uh, and it's covering part of the the mountain. Like it, it threw me for a loop, really. Um, so, how would you explain in your model? You know, what would it take for um, for the crosshair to block half a mountain and appear below the water horizon, as exemplified by uh, by myself and by George Nacek's uh, ice lake uh, measurement, and by uh, Jess Kozlowski and Tim Osmond's um, Great Salt Lake Strong's knob uh, measurements at like seven foot above the Great Salt Lake. Uh, so it's not that rare. And but how, how does the globe model explain that? I don't. I didn't. I'm not familiar with your particular example. For, uh, I have seen George Nacek's uh, thing. So you, uh, I have seen George Nacek's uh things so you're saying what you're asking is how is it that if you're a, a several feet above the water that the crosshairs can be below the uh the horizon no, yeah so so the the way and uh, you know when when light goes through a gradient uh, pressure will gradient, it curves and that curve has a radius if that radius is larger than the radius of the earth then it will make something appear slightly higher if that radius is smaller than the radius of the earth then it can cause distant objects to appear higher significantly higher so for example the horizon can appear higher uh, then it can cause distant objects to appear higher, significantly higher. So, for example, the horizon can appear higher. I just one second. There's more. Sharon? No, that was it, and that was a. Uh... I, I wanted to show that because um, Toon had claimed that, you know, in a recent video that he made, that, that, and, and you know, just to, all Glober examples, you know, except Ranty was a, made a comment, he was a, back then during one of my examples, but these are all Glober's, Tom Osmond, George Nacek, and then MC Toon even said, yeah, he, he does recall uh, George Nacek's example. So I wanted to see it. Are you uh, okay with retracting that statement that you made in your re in your recent video that objects uh, below below the horizon or can't be blocked? I mean, do you want to retract uh, that oh, now? I I get where you're going with that. Um, I'm trying to un unlook at at the uh, the chat here or the I don't know what I'm how to get out of here. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so so you're looking at so so you compared the um, the how depth perception works thing that I put up to to how uh, the effects of refraction, right? So all right, I right. Need to, what, what I, the, I need to yeah, yeah ahead, I need to get I need to get out of this uh, this. Uh, um, I, I want to see the chat, and I can't see the chat. Uh, why can't I switch to the chat? Because I want to post something. Um, I, uh, did somebody, you, Apocryphine, do you, you Okay. Yeah, so can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so where are you want to post that? In oh, chat, I want to yeah, I want to put in chat, but I just see the the pictures of all the the spe people that are in the room. Oh, okay, so so you have to you, yeah, okay, so you you have to click on the main chat, and then it make a list again. So like, click on the main chat. I click. Let on me it. see. Okay. Like, I still see the, just, uh, the, the people. That okay, yeah, okay, yeah, that's the list of people. Okay, sorry. Go. You want to see the chat chat? Okay, so scroll down. Scroll down on the side. Oh, hide voice uh, channels. And then no, well, go down on the left side. Go down, scroll down. Yeah. yeah. And then you'll see main chat. One of the rooms. Click on it. Yeah. Go down more. Do, do you not have? I'm trying to look on your. I'm looking on your YouTube feed, and I know. it's and, just yeah, not. There's a, there's a it's not sent. Yeah. So you should see. Oh, that's why. Click on see all channels. See all channels. Yeah, because you can only see the voice channels right now, right? Yeah. The chat channels. Yeah, so go to the top. Go to the top. Go to the top. Uh, see at the top where it says channels and roles? Yeah. Click on there. Okay, I'm in. Click on channels and roles, and then you're going to see all the channels that you're not seeing. And if you just click on the main chat, 
it's not there. You should see. Um, okay, that's click on the right where it says channels. Browse channels. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's a delay. So now, if you go down, you could you could see now what channels you can see and what you don't see. And I hate that Discord did this. It wasn't yeah, like this yeah, before. That's that's a. That's, but. Um. Now I see. see you have it's, to click. Yeah, there you go. If you if you click on main text chat, you'll be able to see that now. I hate that they wow. did this, but it it makes it. I don't know. It's easy once you set it up. It's awesome because then you could like have only what you want to see, but. Until you do that, it it went it's... out. All right, you know what? I'm I'm gonna drop out and I'll come back in because that has fixed it before. Because I'm okay. If you see, it didn't fix it, so I'll be right back. Or not. I... <laughs> or something like that like i do i do agree on that or i'll admit it whatever you want to call it i'll concede that yeah if you don't know the variables or even the units then it's it's impossible like the way google right, describes okay. is oh, no, switching from radiant to green. so i do i do concede oh. that that if, if you don't describe it it's pointless so all right i yeah i went out came back in and i still just see the overview i can't find the the Okay, okay. Wait, McToon. So you 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 clicked on the main chat under the channels, right? You clicked it, like you put a blue check mark next next to main chat. All right, there I got it. I I popped out the 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 the. There's a. I have a window over on the side of the screen now that's got that, so that it's uh trying to. Okay. All right. Globers are checking up with technology. Give give will catch up. No. Okay, now it works. All right. Good. Um okay, so let me let me do this. So this uh, Brian, you showed this with my voice talking about this, right? The one I just posted there, how depth perception works. I'm sorry. I while I was you, in your in your video, you had my voice speaking while this was on screen. And so the thing I just posted, so you can look at it. I'm not sharing my screen. You can just look at the, the image that I dropped in there. Where'd you drop it? Because I wasn't trying to misrepresent you. So is there, before we go, uh, are there any name. claims? That, uh, if I put in, um, is there anything that, uh, that I stated that you didn't, that you don't claim so I can retract? All right, all right. No, I, I'm just, I'm just going to respond to the video. And and your very specific question to me. So I'm, I'm responding to that. So can you, can you? Okay, look, where can, can I see it? Where can I see it? It's in the, main chat. It's in the main text chat. It's the highest one there. I don't. Maybe that's the wrong one. But I can't, I can't. No, I haven't that. looked. It might be, it might be right. I haven't looked there. Hold on, I'm looking right now. Um, text chat. Yeah, it used to be different before they before they did all this, where they made it where you can control like what you see and what you don't see, and you can move the channels yourself. You could put like the text right next to the voice text, or I'm yeah. sorry, the the text yeah. chat next to the voice chat. It makes it used sense to, be like to tie that. them together somehow, but yeah, it, it's like on mine. It makes like I have it set up like good, like it's easy on mine, but you got to set it up though. Yeah. All right. Um, are, are you in there yet, Brian? I'm not seeing it, man. It's, uh, can you repost it? Are you in main text chat? Yeah, I just got it. says, welcome to main chat. It says, this is the start of main chat. No, no, no. Yeah, you're, in, you're in the uh, you're in the wrong one. Uh, it's, it says main text chat. Yeah, that we brings me right back to, um, to Brian Link versus MC Tune debate. Uh, Oh, so we tagged you in the here. Tag you again. 
Ryan, look you, at the. You are a little too quick to go after me for not handling the technology. Yep, 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 yep. But uh, still, okay. I'm gonna hit main chat. Main text chat. I, I when I hit that, it, it just welcomed me. Like, I don't see a main text chat. I really don't. Here it is. Now, ta-da! Yes, okay. So, where you say that. You want to repeat your uh, claim while that's up, right. while we're looking at that? So, you had my voiceover, Perception. my voiceover, talking about this picture. So, that was from uh, one of my videos. Dude, I swear to God, on my life, that's from your video. I didn't do any editing on that. It is 100% from my video. Yes. I have it on my website. Okay. I have it on, and, and I know what page I have it on. That I posted the page that I have it on on my website. And that's the that's the preview picture for it so that so that says that. this is how depth perception works this does not include the effects of refraction okay, okay. so everything would you like above, to repeat can you repeat the claim everything about above. objects appearing higher it, the, the, the 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 claim re, uh related to refraction yeah, uh, you said that, That uh, hold on, in fact, I don't want to misquote you. Give me one second if you want to carry on. I'm not going to carry on while you're not paying attention. That doesn't make sense. I'm not paying attention. Pull up your, your quote, because uh, all I did is play what you said what, while that was on your screen. I just recorded it. Yeah. yeah. So what, what you said is objects can appear higher as if they're lower than the than than level but like i said i want no. when this to do was the on exact screen, quote that's yeah when this just that i wanted to make sure it was exact yeah. to make sure you're i just wanted to okay. make sure i get your claim right okay so let me go check real quick if you want to hold you could keep talking if you want to hold yeah. for a second but i don't want to misquote you i want to make sure i quote you properly okay. is all i mean I, you could just ask me what i mean right now Okay, let me save some time. So you do agree that if something is below line of sight, then we can see it. Okay, in other words, what Rumpus said is wrong. Is that what you're claiming? If we're above no. true level, okay, well, elaborate so I, so I know where to even go uh, like i said i don't want to misrepresent you the pictures on screen now this this does not include the effects of refraction this is this is just how and the title says how depth perception works but it's more this is how perspective now, works but uh that was why I put them, because you yeah, said it never but, happens like but, that you said never oh will we gosh. see this and that it I didn't mean, say only if it. refraction i was trying to explain it brian but and i and then somebody interrupted me and stopped me from explaining it. Brian. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right. Without considering refraction, things that are above the eye converge down. Things that are below the eye converge up and also left and right. But we're mostly talking about top to bottom. This was this was something I got years ago from a flat earther that flat earther posted. So if something is actually below you perspective says that it will continue to be below you and if something is actually above you perspective says that things will will it will continue to be above eye level now that of course still does not include the effects of refraction so that's that's very specifically what i mean this this diagram here does a good job of describing it if if for example the road is below you and the ceiling, the that. light on the ceiling is you. above you, that light on the ceiling will never appear to go below the road. And you say never, right? Never. Due to perspective, not accounting for refraction still. So sometimes then, so, okay, I just, that's what I wanted. I wanted you to clear that up. So, so when you said something will never go below true level, if it's above and in our last sight, you meant barring refraction or, or other, or just make, you know, there are, just refraction is all I need to say. So you didn't mean never then, right? There is always the possibility of confounding variables. Okay, well, if you want to uh, straighten up your video, that's fine. And 
and just put a, a side note or, and go to your website and put a side note that you didn't mean that never. You, you meant uh, just like geometrically is what you meant, right? Just ge- with your geometry, not never. Yeah, okay. Can I share my screen real quick, just for two seconds? Okay. Uh, things below true level will never appear above true level, and things above true level will never appear below true level. You, yeah, if you're off to a good start all right super so you're being pedantic got it man i'm really not trying to be pedantic i mean that that was a a video against flat earth when we're describing things happening and uh and when it doesn't line up with the geometry that's our explanation if you want to call reality or our demonstrations that we show you or our explanations pedantic that's kind of coward ain't it i mean that's no, our you, it, it, you weren't providing an explanation you were you were being pedantic about about my explanation for things you weren't presenting your explanation for things i gave demonstrations okay of a light right in front of the brian, camera brian right? when you were when you were talking about my my words in my video you were being pedantic about what i was saying no, that was you dogging us for being or saying that never can something be below level, okay? But so, but in your model, okay, it's okay. We've got do, explanations again, Brian. Do to perspective, just perspective. In isolation, honest? is that honest? In, in isolation, without considering confounding variables, perspective says that things will uh, that are above you will never appear below you. Fair enough. So when I show something in front of us above zero, above the horizon or above the ground, and I just let a little cold air into play, or if I involve a little bit of magnification. So there's examples of how that is out the window. So when you then make a video afterwards saying never, when you're talking about the sun or or anything like that, acting like never, it's not possible. Is that honest, Tune? Uh, well, yeah, the because refraction works against it, it's also a never. Even more so never, because refraction works yeah, the opposite demonstrated direction. demonstrated that we all describe refraction. You say things towards... And then I ask for demonstrations over and over and over for years. We get uh, sugar, water, and a fish tank, okay? But that doesn't do what you say. You say it makes things appear higher, but 80% of the time, it literally block shit and obstruct shit over a flat bottom fish tank so you, you see you're just making these claims bro and they're i just want to call you out on the honesty of them they're not honest when i show you that the bottom of a skyline disappears and the, you describe refraction working being that the light bends toward the denser medium toward the sh- thicker sugar and not not making things appear higher, but literally blocking the bottom of the city skyline. That's called a demonstration, bro. That's what I wanted. I don't want just claims and numbers and horseshit. I want demonstrations like I have gave you. Yeah. Well, just to be clear, Brian, none of that was said before the debate. So, so rolling into the debate with Jaron, expecting that I would have these things on the fly, when we, that wasn't something we discussed. You had very specific things that you were demanding. You can't expect that. I, I coming yeah, into the debate, you never told me that ahead of time, Brian. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Like, um, but but, but it, the fact still, as long as we can clear this up afterwards, I'm good with it because it doesn't prove a flat Earth. I'm not trying to act like, but I'm just trying to say, you know, when we we've got some legitimate arguments, and we've got some real world demonstrations that I just think that are being. Uh, you know, years later, this is six, seven ongoing years, and they're not being even acknowledged. And uh, I'm not do saying, you, mean, you know, do you mean thought. like Rob Skiba's using the wrong side of the lens? Thing? Yeah, as far as opening I, the door. No, no, I, the wrong side of the lens was the was the guy, the meteorologist. He literally used the top of a magnifying glass. So anytime part, you're looking through the yeah. bottom of a of a lens, like like being at right. ground level, right. we, we would be looking the through the bottom of the lens, right, Brian? 
The top part causes light to bend down. That's why you should use the top part. And when Rob Skiba did it, he used the bottom part of the lens, which causes light to bend up. The opposite of the way it does in the air. Really? So if we're looking have, through the lens... I the have Rob Skiba's thing on the floor behind me, behind the bookshelf behind me. I test. So you it. just want to dig your hole. Keep... Tell me when I can respond. Shovel away. I didn't understand you. Your your Wi-Fi cut out. I know you didn't, bro. But uh, so if we're looking through the through the atmosphere, we're describing as a lens. Are we looking through the bottom of that lens, or are we looking through the top of that lens? Keep... We're we're not looking and... through a circular lens, Brian. The atmosphere is not a circular it lens. Have to be circular. So so that's just a deflect. Doesn't have to be circular. No, it could be a square. Yeah, it's not a Reflecting. circular lens. So if you're going to use Over. if you're going to use a lens as an analog, you need to use the correct portion of the lens as an analog or get a lens that's even a better analog, which are hard to come by. So a circular lens will do. You just need to use the I've got the part one, bro. Of, got one right to, here, Tune. Okay. They're hard to come by. They're not hard to come by, bro. A circular it's lens? any lens, okay? No, it's not it's any, any lens. lens. The, the geometry of the lens matters, Brian. A circular right, lens. Right, but they all have the same appearance, don't they? No, they don't. They're very different. Nobody's going to side roll and say, well, you have convex and, bro, get back to the point. I'm not going to let you dodge, okay? The point is, is if the atmosphere is a lens, we're looking through the bottom no, of that we're lens, not. right? No, no, it's not a circular lens. You need to use the correct portion of the lens if you're going to use a circular lens as your, as your analog. What not the bottom. It right has here. to be the top of my a hand. circular lens. What about the lens I have in my hand, Tune? I can't right here. see your right hand. Here? I can't yes, see your hand, Brian. That's my square lens, bro. You're dodging, acting like the lens it's has to be square. Bro, square lens. You're, dude, you're just be honest, Hold dude. On. Brian, is it a Fresnel lens? Why would we look at the top of the lens? Brian, is it a Fresnel lens? Yes, I have a Fresnel lens. I have and, four Fresnel lenses. I have three okay. different kinds of magnifying glasses. Okay. I have the, the curved and mirrors. I've got the whole awesome. assortment, bro. Brian, they're all they're all circular lenses, all of them. Even if it's cut in a square, it's still a circular lens. There's circles on it. You can tell that by looking at the circles on the Fresnel lens. The one that Skiba uh, sells with his kit is a square, circular Fresnel lens. It sounds weird to say that. A it's square, a circular, circular lens. You're done deflecting. When you're done deflecting, okay. I'm so not deflecting, Brian. I'm telling you, if the, you're, the, the atmosphere is not a circular lens. It does not act like a circular lens. I'm not if I put a square, does it, how do you know? So you're saying we have to go to the top of the lens and then the circular lens works fine as long as we're looking through the top of the lens, Correct. which is not Correct. what we'd be through in the atmosphere. The atmosphere causes light to bend down. You need to use the portion of the circular lens that causes light to bend down. What portion of the of a circular lens causes light to bend down? Why would I be trying to make shit bend down? To because that's what the atmosphere does, Brian. Is it... Brian, the 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 air in the okay. atmosphere causes so light playing... to bend down. This is this is Snell's law. The air closer to the ground is more dense and it has a higher index of refraction. Snell's law oh, says that, that light. I'm not done talking. Snell's law says that light bends towards the higher index of refraction. That's towards the ground. Light in the air bends toward the ground. It bends down. You're stuck. You're stuck. So, so we can refer to. So, you don't want to talk about the atmosphere being the lens. You want to manipulate it, make it bend away. We're not talking about Snell's law. In my opinion, when we're looking through long distance Snell's atmosphere, law Snell's doesn't law apply has to. to do with it. Wait, well, wait hold on, hold on, since hold on, when hold on. does Snell's so law not apply to refraction, you're Brian? That, you're claiming that look through. Uh, for the denser medium, like in the fish tank, then everything appears higher. I just showed you that is not dem demonstrable. When you show that, we don't see everything higher. Like I said, 80% of the times, we get blockage from the bottom up and things appear lower. Uh, how, did you, how did you do an A to B comparison of that? How did you quantify that? I don't hear anything, Brian. 
I use your boy Mick West, okay? I, I showed out it before he added the sugar and after he added the sugar. After he added the sugar, we seen shit lower. Shit, the, the magnifying light um, and half of it maybe might have appeared higher, but everything we were seeing appeared lower. So you got to get your shit straight, bud. Because when we're looking we'll, through we'll atmosphere, show, show the side by side, then let's see it. If the atmosphere is the lens, we're not looking through the top of that lens, bro. There's no way out, bro. No way out of that. Ryan, which portion of a circular lens will cause light to bend down? The top. So are you saying the, the atmosphere is a circular lens? I'm saying it's not a circular you, lens. Specifically you, using you a circular lens is a little bit of a problem because it's not a no, great it, analog for the air. But you if see you're what you're going, doing? If, I'm not done talking. If you're going to insist on using a circular lens, you must use the correct portion of the circular lens that is somewhat of an analog for what happens in the air. So you so you want to talk about the atmosphere? Make me use a certain part of the lens based off your claim. Uh, what I'm claiming is that it it's law. looking through the atmosphere. It's Snell's this law. It's claiming. not a claim. It's, it's how it's how light Snell's refracts. Bit. It's the same medium. Right. It's the same medium. Okay. So it's here's the thing. If we're looking through the atmosphere, are we looking through the top of the lens or the bottom of the lens? Just fuck all with a magnifying glass. Just what part of the lens are we looking through? It's if not, we're looking through the atmosphere, because it's looking, just it just uh, is ironic that when you get half a mile up and there's papers from NASA to back this up, we don't get bottom up obstruction from half a mile or higher. We don't see mountains in the in the when we're half a mile high, blocked in the background. Is Send that just link, like Brian. another coincidence post, post or the, what, bro? Post the link to what you're talking about in the text chat there so we can look. My man Gleam is out there. He can post it. I, I'll dig it, but I think you've seen it. Are you are you saying we do see bottom-up obstruction? I, I don't. Oh, this Brian, is Brian, it's it's. I'm I'm just looking for the first law of flurf to be confirmed. I'm literally proving that the first law of glurf when you say that the first law of flirt, we have to lie to flirt, bro. You, that's I'm not the first law. Dim- that's that's an axiom. Lies, bro. That's not it. That's not the first bro, law. That's can an axiom. Be honest one time in your life and just say that you were wrong. That when you say that never, never, okay, when you meant never, you were wrong. No, Brian. No, I was. First I was law being- blurf. There you have it. Bro. He won't admit ever because he knows it all, folks. The compulsive liar, Brian. Come on, why do you got to be like that? I'm just, go, I'm just in the let, role, bro. I'm just, I'm just saying. That. Let, I'll call, man. We I'll, used to get along, Brian. <laughs> now you're getting all dirty. Yeah, I'll, I'll, bring it up a notch. I'll back it up a notch. Let's bring it down. <laughs> so, all right, here you go. But it, it does, Nico, Nico just posted, just posted a video there. But when you it does mix in and and, I'll, and defense, okay, I'll calm it down. But when when you say the first law of flirt, like there's a, a big majority of us trying to keep it honest and trying do, to learn shit. Do you know what the first law of flirt is? Well, I'm just referring to the one where you say you, you have know? to lie to flirt. That's not the first law. What is the first law of flirt, okay. Brian? Don't know. I thought it was you have to lie to flirt. No, that's an axiom. What is it? That's an axiom. The first law of flirt is that all flirt citations contradict the flirt's um, position. So when when really? you said something, when you, the when you said so, something, so the never command is not never. You're you're literally projecting on me, Tune. You won't take back that it never happens. You're just giving reasons why it sometimes Brian, does. But Brian, Brian, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. you need to understand. When I said that, I was saying it within the context of how perspe- perspective makes things appear. So right. you're wrong. So No, I was are... not. I was completely right, yeah. but you are ignoring the context. All right, I posted the no, laws you, of... you, you Hold on, Brian. Geometry, bro. For reference, I posted the laws of Flurf so that you can see them. So you can reference bro, them. You so when I say... Brian, so when I say when I say first law of flurf, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not saying that you're lying when I say that. But that is what calls a flurf, right? What's that? Literally projecting. So you're projecting. So what you meant to say in that video was that geometrically it never happens, right? You didn't mean yeah. never in as the in context real world, of right? in the context of perspective. 
That's what I meant. But you're trying to apply it to something I didn't mean. That's the pedantics that you're trying to do there, Brian. Perspective. Okay, so you didn't mean never, though, right? Never. I meant within the context of what I was talking about, Brian. Don't put words in my mouth. Clear that up. Don't put words in my mouth, Brian. It's rude. No, no, it's you. That video was describing a sun and its setting, okay? And now you're just changing it to a gist perspective. So not never then, right? You meant not never, correct? Wrong. I meant within the context of what I was talking about. It was on screen. But you don't you didn't want to, you know, leave it in the context that I was meaning it to be in. You wanted to apply something else to it. I just want you to say so not never. No, right. I would only not say that because the, only Brian, when it comes to geometrical perspective, right? Brian, I was saying within a certain context, you're ignoring that context. That's dishonest. Right. So we'll, we'll clarify that. I already did and say I already please. did, Brian. Okay. Yeah, I already did good, just right good. just a couple minutes ago, Brian. But you keep bringing it up, Brian. Yeah. You you won't let it go, Brian. I don't know why you won't let it go, Brian. It's a little rude, but that's fine because that's what we expect sometimes. Ladies and gentlemen, the guy that's lighting champion of the world, Dream Standing MC Tune. You cut out there. <laughs> I said, ladies and gentlemen, the gaslighting champion, grandstanding world, MC Tune. He cut out again. If you that's fine. Up, but that's fine. That. Uh, All right. So, so Brian, um, do you want to get to what you and I spoke about for today, or do you want to keep going on this? I'm fine either way. Yeah, we'll definitely move off this, but I do want to bring up uh, before we get. I'd like to bring up um, a couple quick ones. Just one mainly is that, okay, so um, I did describe it in Jaron's video how we see in a dome. Um, I, this time I was able to show it, and I, I hope you were able to see the airplanes. Like when you see them further away, they literally look like they're going down when we know that we watch airplane after airplane. And they literally all appear like that. They look like they're going straight up. I, I compared it to uh, when I tricked a dude saying it was a space shuttle. Okay. And uh, but it like a space shuttle when you catch them lower, when you could see them lower to the horizon, which you you can't always. It it has to be a real clear day. But even above that, it looks like they're going straight up. Um, so that's not due to Earth curve, right? That's just our visual. That that's our visual perspective. So you can't really use the mathematics to Brian, to describe who, who vision, has who has ever prepared. said certainly not me, but who has ever said that how we view airplanes flying in the sky just just our view from the ground of them somehow is evidence for the Earth being a globe. Who has said that? I'm not saying you have. I'm okay, not so, saying so that. Then I'm why saying would that... you bring it up as a refutation? for it when when because i haven't said it and i don't know anybody who has on to the sun, and when we're going to move on to the sun and stars and whatnot okay when when we're seeing things do that visually we're seeing them drop angle appear to rise appear to be right. in a dome around us then i'm just proving that that is optical right. so i'm, I, I'm, I'm glad leaving, to i'm just trying to give you some ready. evidence like i'm trying to give evidence and demonstrations like real world stuff to back my shit up yeah and, when and you're I'm ready, asking you to do the same. Yep. When you're ready, I will. I will address it. And and uh, I just need you to not interrupt me just while I address I'll, it. I'll shut up. All right. Good. Uh, I posted that picture again. Uh, how depth perception works. If you want to look at that, um, if you look at that tunnel there, if you were to imagine uh, a uh, let's let's right in the center at the top there. Let's install a uh, a track, and let's put a model airplane on that track. And have it be on the far, far end of the the tunnel there. And then let's have that model airplane on the track that's just below the ceiling, right in the center of the ceiling there, at the highest point of the ceiling. Have that move towards the viewer. That model airplane on the track just below the ceiling of the of the um, the tunnel there, which is not changing in elevation at all. It's being consistent in elevation. That plane will appear to move straight up to the observer right oh no, i'm taking a look at it <laughs> all 
Are there any flat earthers with us in the side chat tonight, says Matthew Forrest. I think there are a couple in here. We got Sam Oddhe5. Uh, um, where are you showing that at, Jane? It's the same picture. I put it in the... I'll put it in again. In the, the main yeah. text chat. Yep. Oh, the same picture. That's, okay, I, I prefaced Demi this by saying it's the same picture, Brian. Did you miss that part? Yeah, but can you demonstrate this up close? The way you're describing it mathematically, can you demonstrate it locally up close? Brian, you didn't ask me to provide a demonstration yes no, for this not today. Ever, dude. Of, yes course, no. of oh. course, this is easy to, to demonstrate. This is not difficult to demonstrate. People, people, I don't think you will find anybody that will disagree with this, Brian. I'll go over it again, right? You got the track on the ceiling. It's right at the highest point of the ceiling. There's an airplane right underneath the track suspended from it. At the far, far end of the tunnel That's is where what you're Describing. I, I want a demonstration. I, I wasn't done talking, Brian. So, all right, let's move on all since right. you don't want to listen to me. No, but when you say no, you, Brian, you don't want to okay, listen to me, you don't want to listen to me, Brian. So you closed down this topic, Brian, because while I was talking You're about this me. and explaining this topic to you, you constantly interrupted me and you don't want to listen to this topic. Wave the white flag bro, by not allowing me, me to talk during my portion of the talking. I'm sorry for that, but you're just... No, you're not sorry for that. If that. you were sorry for that, you would not keep doing it, Brian. You constantly Bro. do it. You are not sorry. If you were sorry, you, you would I'm stop. I'm not going to let you repeat your whole shit without saving time. You're repeating horse shit that I'm asking you to fucking demonstrate in real life. Bro, quick gaslighting. Brian, you're did stuck. you ask you're, me ahead of time stuck. to go and, and do this ahead of time? No, Brian. When you said you changed... Say something new, or, or just let me talk. One or the other. Don't repeat you what we've all heard. a lot, Brian. And whenever I talk, you try to stop me from talking. That tells no, you're me wrong, so you that you're mad, scared. Bro. You get mad when you're wrong. You're scared you're wrong, of you me talking. Mad. You hate when the you idea that, that I will prove mad. you wrong, so you won't let me talk. That's what you're doing. Go ahead and talk. Go ahead and talk. Just don't okay. repeat, please. I, all right. I've, I've already said it then. So then recall from your memory what I said about this. Go ahead. Talk about the shit on the, the track. And the, you're, you're just some kind of, of, of short-range model describing it to us. And I'm asking you to demonstrate that. I didn't ask you the same. Brian, the same. Brian, I can't go outside right now at this instant and provide this demonstration. I have not prepped it. five years. What? You acting like something up close gives us that vision that, that up close. Yeah, and nobody the, the disputes matter. this, Brian. Not even flat earth. You are literally the only person in the world that disputes this. I'm not disputing it. I'm disputing your description of it. Yeah, you're disputing. You're disputing. It. Yeah. Got it. You said you updated your website. What? How did you update it? When did I say I updated my website? You said you already did. You said I already fixed it. So what 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 fix did you do what? to fix it? What did I fix? What did I say I fixed on my website? You claim never. See, you, you just forget. So when oh you claim gosh, never, bro. that it never happens, that you were only talking about perspective, you said you already it was, fixed it. How what am you, I gonna you do fix, to fix how am I gonna fix the video that I did a year ago on my website? So you didn't update it already then. No, of course okay. I did not, Brian. I've been I've been busy talking to you, not able to just go over and edit a video. So can, can you at least verbally tell me what to do to clarify that that it does happen? And you can't claim oh, you never. You want to go back to a different topic now that we've already settled. I'll say it the last time. And if you're going to be dishonest and bring it up again, then I'm going to be very upset with you, Brian. And I'm going to call your mom and ask her to stop. Have you stop, okay? Within the context of perspective, perspective, within that context, things on the ceiling will never cross below the, 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 the floor. And things on the floor will never cross and become above, above the, the ceiling. Within just the context of perspective. This does not conclude confounding variables. There you go. Last time I'm saying it, Brian. All right. So we're done with that. 
You asked me for a demonstration, which I don't have because you didn't ask me yesterday or 10 days ago. So I didn't go and do a specific demonstration just for you for this thing. You just said it's critical. It's critical to remember that something below true. You bring up it up here above again, Brian. Didn't, didn't, All right, Brian. All right. All I'm right. Gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to call your mom. Hold on. Hold on, Tune. Just listen to this real quick to make sure that make sure I'm not missing something here because yeah, uh, you didn't say variables. Hold on. You're not talking now. I, I can't hear you if you're. So, so I'm sharing my screen just for 10 seconds if y'all don't mind. Tell me when you can see it. All right, here we go. People will never appear above oh my true gosh, level. You just, you just, keep, you just can't will stop. never appear below. Oh my gosh. All right. So I'm asking that. Let's see. And, uh, you know, and I thought you said you already did, but maybe I misunderstood would, when you said you, you already Why would you think? Never, and you put emphasis on never, so you didn't mean never. You didn't mean never. Brian, is, is your mom still around? No, nah, she's passed away, dog. Oh, all right. Well, then I can't get her to come over there and tell you to stop doing it. Just be honest for one I, second. I am, Give Brian. Me a I am, Brian. I made it clear. I clarified many times, and you've, you've asked me not to repeat myself, so I won't. Don't bring it up again. I'm asking you to not repeat no, yourself. I'm not I've already clarified. You, you put emphasis I've on already never, clarified. so please. I've already clarified. Okay. All right. We'll, all right, we'll, we'll move on then. Yeah. So, Good. you know, that, that's it. So you're not willing to. Ever I already clarified. Now, the point was, was that, uh, hold on, hold on one second. What are we holding on for? Okay. When I brought up the angle, uh, when I bring up the eclipse angles, then or when I show the moon um, high in the sky and the sun just barely above the horizon, like one to two degrees, um, or about to come up over the horizon, it's explained to me that the moon, if it's one degree above the horizon, is only 2,000 miles, according to the trig, and that the sun being one degree above the horizon puts it at 1,600,000 miles above the horizon. They explain the 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 angles on the moon, the lit angle, not matching what we would expect, which is fine. I'm good with that, if if that's an explanation. But on the in the same breath, you want to say that them parallel rays can hit the bottom of clouds. So when I showed examples, and I've got dozens of them, of a sun one, two, arguably three degrees above the horizon. Uh, Brian, I've got, I've the, got the diagram that you you refused to look at from last time when I was talking with you. The sun is not one degree above the horizon. It's below the horizon when it's shining on the clouds. Hey, I'm going to show a picture then. Okay, because the, the examples I gave you, it's well above the horizon. The sun is well above the horizon. What you drew, what you drew was, was deflecting, bro. I didn't, I didn't describe a sun below the horizon. I described and showed. A sun above the horizon shining up on the bottom of clouds. You made that shit up so you'd Let's have somewhere to run. Let's see it, Brian. Okay. How many do you want to see, Tune? Just one. Okay. I mean, you could post them in there too, like Nico just did. Yeah, I could. All right. Let's It's just ama it's amazing you don't like I've showed him some like you really right. don't. Here's one from Nico just, where where the sun is above the horizon, but it's not shining just on the bottom of the clouds. Doesn't help you there. Yeah, but sometimes it does, right? There you go. And then here's from oh from Nico. Look at that sun is gone, and you can see the clouds where they're lit from just the bottom. Amazing. Uh, yeah, amazing, right? From Glober Mom. Oops, no no sun there. <laughs> one from Glober Mom. Wow. All right, can you? I, I still don't see the one uh, you're talking about. Yeah, randomly, yeah, yeah, and you, randomly epic suggests that you should get Starlink internet. That might help. 
gaslighting, bro. I'm trying to pull up a fucking what you're acting like you've never seen because you're not honest and you're gaslighting me the whole time. I'm trying to pull something up. Just, and now you're, you're I, so just, in your audience is gaslighting, dude. I'm filling space because you're 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 looking for stuff. I get it. I, you don't have it handy. You got to find it on your phone. It's it's right. You're not on a computer, are you? Oh, but quick gaslighting. Are you? I'm not. Are you on a computer or on a phone? Fine gaslighting, turn. Brian, are you on a computer or on a phone? I'm on my phone. Okay, it's Just harder. That. I get it. It's harder for you to find stuff on your phone. I'm it's not, not upset dude. about that. No, it's going to respond to you and keep clicking back and forth. It's just it, whatever. It's just it, even if I was sitting there with you, you you're, you're gaslighting, and then you have uh, chat. It's like you're reading chats that are also gaslighting. Gets old, dude. We're 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 enjoying you, a little chuckle, Brian. Just so we're clear, you know what that means. Define gaslight, please. <laughs> Come on, Brian. Just go find it. Define gaslighting, too. Yeah, making somebody Define think. It. Maybe making somebody think that they were they heard something wrong or. Making somebody think that that uh, something right, they thought good. was true is a lie. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Here we go. All right. I'm gonna put it in uh in text. I just did it live. I'm gonna put it Main in text. text. Put it in text for you. What? What? Come on. Oh, he'll never get it. It's just this is unbearable. He it take. I was trying to give him slack for not being able to to find it quickly because he's on a phone. It's harder on a phone. Get a computer. Um, I was giving him grace on that, and he doesn't get it. Oh, man, aggravating. Ooh, look at that. That's a good one there from uh, Globe Turd Society. Carnivore says, by definition, constantly accusing someone else of gaslighting without evidence would be gaslighting. <laughs> no, bro, I just, man, I, I really didn't want to move on until uh, we discussed, you know, the um, when you say never and put emphasis on never, like, uh, you know, <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you, you didn't, you didn't that, Brian, never, right? You, we're done with that. I posted it, bro. Oh, okay, gosh. I've already posted it. All Give right. it a look. That's amazing, Brian. Give it a look. Why, now, why, where is that from? You never conceded. You, you, you made a drawing. You never conceded that a sun, one degree above the horizon, mathematically, hopefully you checked it out after the debate. You should know just in your head that it's about a million, you know, knowing the, the tangent. But uh, okay. so, so being one degree above the horizon puts it 1,600,000 miles above that cloud, right? So you never conceded to the trigonometry, and if anybody but, doesn't understand Brian, this, they they explained the downward lit moon that's way higher in the sky with that same mathematics. So I would ask them if parallel rays are shining down on a moon when the sun's just barely above the horizon, how are parallel rays simultaneously shining up from the bottom of clouds if it's one million plus miles above the damn cloud? Uh, well, there's a few things you're missing here. Uh, of course, you you need to look down to see the horizon. Do you not know that? Just answer uh, the question, man. And yeah, so wh where is this from? This this is a this is a pretty rough quality. You're just deflecting. Let's yeah. not talk about. I could uh, several of them, bro. Just answer the question. You know, <laughs> that'd be. I love know. I love the trick deflecting. that you're trying to do here. So let's talk about the trig. Let's talk about the triangle calculator. Let's talk about the prettiness of the picture. Let's talk about anything except the point. But... <laughs> Dude, the, the geometry is fun to listen to you. Because because when when you when you actually do the geometry, the one time gaslight. you actually do More the geometry, gaslight. it's I wasn't even done. How could I gaslight if you didn't even let me finish my sentence, Brian? Okay, you didn't want to hear it. If you want to respond? I, do you, you agree with the trig? Me, you <laughs> won't let me respond, Brian. You, when I respond, you jump in and prevent me from responding. So why, right, why on, would man. I try to respond again 
when multiple times I've been responding and you interrupt me and to prevent me from responding. Explain that to me, Brian. Why should I try again just and again? Just gaslight your response, bro, and not to the question. The simple question, does the trigonometry put a sun one degree above the horizon, one million six above that cloud? It's a simple mathematical question. Don't talk about Brian's geometry and gaslight and, and the, the quality of the photo. Just, it's a trigonometry. It's a simple mathematical question, bro. Can you give me a straight answer ever? You won't let me answer, Brian. That's your problem. But, uh, okay, so first of all, that's not a full degree that looks like it's closer to half a degree because the sun is approximately half a degree in diameter. And that rough picture there, it looks like the sun is about a half a degree. Uh, don't know how high the, the observer is, but it's not... It's the the thing is you're doing this this geometry where you're using the sun and doing this million miles above it it's not above it brian it's that distance away and it's an angular relationship not a linear relationship that's what's going on there brian but the one time okay so you refused you, to answer you refused to uh, uh, yes, uh, go ahead no I, I i was answering and then you stopped me Okay, if I draw a tangent so to my Brian, friend... There we okay, go, we're done. If I drop down, you won't let me discuss this topic anymore. You won't. You refuse to allow me to discuss this topic. What are you talking about, dude? You just said While you were I'm explaining the answer, you interrupted me again on this topic. Repeat. Again, you do not want me to answer this. He's quit running like a bitch, dude. Are you me? You said Ryan, he was done. You constantly interrupted me. Again, this is the third time I tried to explain it. You interrupted me again. You do not want me to explain it. Ask you, is the math correct? If I draw a tangent from my feet, okay, and the sun is one degree above that, does that put the sun a million, approximately a million six hundred thousand miles above the cloud? It's a mathematical question, bro. It doesn't need any of the horse shit rolling around in your head, bro. It's a mathematical question. Is that math correct? No. Okay, so if opposite side does come out to one million six hundred thousand miles, if your if your theta is one degree and your adjacent is ninety three million miles, your baseline ninety three million miles. So you disagree with trigonometry, the triangle calculator. And the I, explanation of why I, we're I getting... I disagree it. with your trigonometry, but you won't let me explain it to you. So, um, we've been at this one hour, and we haven't yet started on the, the thing that you and I agreed to talk about. Is that a lie? Did, didn't we change it? Or is that is that a lie? You Did, say didn't you, you say that we'll just... You said you had a like 10... Points. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get the screenshot of what you said to me so that everybody can see it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, make sure them all... All right. <clears throat> Changed it, right? Not me. You change it over the points on Jaren's the question, right? All right, I'm putting up the screenshot of our conversation, so everybody You're can just see. running. There you go. You asked me today at 4:39 my time. Did you put together a presentation? Um, no, I said I did not. I figured we could just review the questions from where we, uh, from when we were on Jaren's. And then you said you put together a 10 minute opener about optics. I said, cool. So we're past that 10 minutes. Right? Yeah. We can get some more, can some more, some more context hey, here. So ain't that, ain't that what we're doing? Are you still running away from the points? Because I'd like to get some closure. If we can't get closure, you just say no. Bro, you, that that's not closure. You, I want some type of explanation or demonstration, bro. Look, you just now you said you were done, okay? And if it's the explanation, if I put it in the mathematical 
If I put it in the triangle calculator, because that's what you use to explain the downward lit moon with the sun way underneath, then I'm going to hold that to the clouds too. So I, I'm going to, there, there are other, imp, you know, it indicates other things, bro. There are other freaking repercussions for your claims. So when you claim, the sun is really 1,600,000 miles above the moon and above them clouds, and that's why it's shining down on the moon. Then I'm going to hold you clouds, too. Like, hold on. It's simultaneously um, hitting the bottom of cloud, the sun above the horizon. You then go on discussing a sun and draw a picture with the sun below the horizon. I never brought that up. I showed you bottom lit clouds with the sun above the horizon. Call it half a degree. That 800,000 miles above the cloud. You know, I just want an explanation. If the rays are coming in simultaneously shining down on the moon and up on clouds. No, you don't want an explanation because when I do, you interrupt me. All right. For context, I put the rest of our conversation in there. Um, and what am I doing that is, is wrong from what, what, well, or on, what you asked on, for? On the second, which was yesterday... Um, I said we can go over the questions that we had for each other on Jaren's. Let me see where. So I'm you going. changed it, right? This was yesterday, Brian. I did not change it. I mean, the full context is there for people. You did change it, though, right? We're going to discuss uh, formulas and all that for bottom-up obstruction, and you changed it, right? What was the question that I asked you to Jaren? On Jaren's, what was the first question I asked you there? You just read, tune, just read what you what. You know, what was the what was the first question I asked you? I put, you said, I just posted it. You, the first question you I asked wanted, you: What is the bottom-up obstruction prediction for the beginning? Right, and then what? And then and then what happened? Then just read. Then the second question: How far away does the sun need to be to set? And then what did you say? Then I said, what is the der der derivative of x squared with respect to x? I'm talking about our conversation, bro. Our conversation formula on a flat earth and everything, and then you changed it. You said we could just go over the questions that were asked on Jaren's, like go over multiple shit. That, that was your shit. That was, no, you that was the topic. I didn't change it. That was always the topic, Brian. Go back to the beginning and read your, me and mine and your texts back and forth. Don't give people half the picture. That would be dishonest, right, Tim? If you didn't read did them you, all. Did you not see what I posted, Brian? Oh my goodness. Just read them. Read them from the very. Hey, it's not right. going to take you two seconds. All right. What's the here, problem? Here we go. Let's go back to, uh, let's see, September 15. September 15. You tried giving some equations uh, for something on Tuesday. Could you share them here? I did not write them down on Tuesday. Yeah, when I get back to the house this evening, I'll get that over to you. Maybe set up a discussion or something so I can explain it. I said a lot of people are curious about this, want to go over it Tuesday. The context of the question is the equations that you gave me on Tuesday. That was the bottom-up obstruction stuff, Brian. Then you said I would definitely like to. It's on my screen right now on YouTube, our whole conversation. I'll let you know by show tomorrow you, whether you. Tuesday's a gopher or not. I said that you're... Okay. I, I, I gave you... I, I joked with you about your Discord avatar. And you said and that, then was, you that was your and then wife. You, Hold on. So I, then, I'm so still first reading. We were gonna Brian, everybody, everybody can right. see it. Everybody can see it. So, so you don't need to try to accuse me of changing anything. It's, it's right here. So you it's got wide something open. and then change. All right. Say, so how does Tuesday it's work? Huge. Bro, I'm not going to be able to obligate Bro, myself what are you on talking? Tuesday. I may wind up having some time Tuesday evening, but I'm not sure enough to make a commitment. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. Then I said on September Dude, 24th. You're a habitual liar, dude. So you, how about this? You just, you just. This is on screen. Changed it, right? This is on. So you can review our conversation, you right. too. Then I said, talk about tune. All right. Then I said, next Tuesday, you, uh, you, you said next Tuesday, question mark. You said, I'm good with next Tuesday, not tomorrow on asylum. You game. 
So next week works for me. I'd like a platform where we can see each other and share screens if possible. You know, like Zoom. But that's fine. Uh, and then on the 29th, I said, we good Tuesday. You said, pretty sure. I said, cool. You said, if for some reason I can't make it, I'll give you a couple days notice. So far, so good. And then I said, party on, Wayne. And you did not. I have to say, I was hurt when you did not say the appropriate response to party on, Wayne. What's the appropriate response? The appropriate response is party on oh, Garth. Man. Party on Garth is what you should have said. I was personally offended that you did not say party on Garth. when I said that. Anyway, um, talking about being on a Discord, I said this is fine, but it's, it's chaotic. I would prefer to chat where we go over the questions from the debate on Jaren's. This was on October 2nd, right? This was... This was uh, confirming the question about that I asked you the equations for something on Tuesday from the debate. A lot of people are curious about this. The question, the formulas, so the you, so you said so right here. It says, "I would prefer a chat." This is you changing it, Tune. I prefer a chat where we go over the questions. From the debate on Jaren. So we initially the bottom up equations and all that and yep. said and, and I you still prefer have a chat. So you changed it, right, Tune? You modified it, right? Can you ever fucking concede anything ever, bro? Is there it's an honest right. bone in it's your body? It's on screen. Everybody can read it. I did not change anything. Yeah, no yeah. shit. What are you telling everybody could read it? You just modified it and said I prefer to go over the questions asked on Jaren's, okay? So wh what do you mean you prefer? You prefer over what? Well, in your fucking thumbs, you prefer over what we originally discussed. What do you prefer it over? What did we originally discuss then, Brian? Watch what do you think was... What happened, guys. What Watch, you... he's a weasel. What do you think was the original topic then, Brian? The original topic was, was the bottom-up obstruction equation, which I sent to you. You said you would discuss Then you change it. You prefer... To what, go over the questions. What was the first question that, we, that we, I asked you? Jaren. What was the first question that I asked you when I talked with you on Jaren's? Oh my God, dude. What, what did you prefer it over? What's the first just, just question? Just get that, get that straight. I mean, I'll bring it up you again. Said you, I'll, just, I'll just bring it up again. I'll post it in the chat for everybody to see. There it is. The questions that I asked you on Jaren's. First one, what's the bottom-up obstruction prediction formula? That's the question. Yeah, and then... then bottom up obstruction and then in the middle of the debate you said like bro you didn't ask me a flat earth bottom up obstruction you asked me for the and there is no bottom up on a flat earth you could i could give you like an average or something like well, that but when you get uh well above that, two thousand feet there is no and that's a little bit of a problem that's though isn't it anyway let, let's I'll, I'll finish so people can read it uh i said i'm creating a, a thumbnail scheduling it for eight we can do Zoom or Discord. I think we get along better on Zoom. I think that's being proven true right here. Uh, but if you feel more comfortable on Discord, that's fine. APOC can facilitate. So then you said you didn't want to do it at the same time as Jaren. Said it wasn't a big deal. Jaren's topic is religion. That's 9 Eastern. You moved it to 10 Eastern. Fine with me. Um, so anyway, there it is. Everybody can see that. So anyway... I, I came here expecting that the, the topic was going to be starting with either the question I gave you or the question you gave me. And the question I gave you was, what's the bottom-up obstruction prediction formula? I told you that it's opted. So when you say you prefer, over what? If you pr so we already had discussed what it's going to be about. Then you said... Well, I prefer that we go over the questions that were asked on Jaren's. Which was right? the topic so that we had already yeah, established. Well, you prefer over, over what? What do you prefer that over? Nothing. That was I was preferring the topics that we had already agreed to. The questions from Jaren's. What else did you think so, I was talking about? When I said optics, okay, when I said I made a presentation on optics, Okay. After you changed it, so you just prefer it to nothing, right? Dude. So you prefer going oh over the God. questions asked. Let's, on... let's go back to when. When did you introduce your your? Dude. Hold on. Today at seven eighteen p.m. 
is when you you let me know that you had a 10 minute opener on optics today at 7 18 p.m less than an hour from the original start time you introduced to me a new thing which is fine. No, I, I shit, dude. I asked you if you made a presentation, okay, uh, hours before that, and and I said because I hadn't, and since you didn't answer, I just threw together a fucking ten minute video. Why are you gaslighting, dude? I don't know you, why you, why you did that when, when when this man is a professor, folks. Why why you felt you needed to do that when the topic was the questions from Jaren's. Yeah, you know, that you preferred over nothing at all because you don't want to be honest instead of just saying that you prefer. So if you prefer something, it's over something else, right? So we had already discussed what we were going to have the debate on until you said you prefer to go over. So prefer opposed to what? Just answer anything ever, bro. So the the initial topic was talking about the, the, uh, the equations – from Jaren's, and then I said I prefer that we talk about the the questions from Jaren's. So it didn't change, Jared, Brian. The, the The topic never changed. Well, well until today, when you when you less than an hour before start time, you said that you had a, a, something on optics. How long before, How long did you take to answer? Okay, I, I wasn't going to get stuck because uh, how many hours before that did I? together you, presentation you asked me at 4 39 p.m if i put together yeah, and, then presentation. When did I, and then when did, how long did before you responded uh it was at 7 6 p.m i said i did not figure right, so three we, hours i wasn't gonna get stuck without a presentation tune because you didn't want to fucking respond especially when i'm in the middle of something so i put i told you i put together a presentation because you didn't respond i wasn't gonna get stuck but, with my pants but down brian, but brian okay? the topic was already set that's why it's so confusing we already yeah, set. You preferred. We already you, set the topic. Really, Here, I'll I'll, I'll Jim, send you. you I'll send to? you the. There you go. There's Jim. there's the topic right there. There's the questions I sent to Jaren. Just read it out loud, so, everybody, clown. So, what so, did you prefer it to, bro? I didn't prefer it to anything. I, that's what I prefer. Then why did you say I prefer it? It's possible to prefer something and not refer to something else. Did you not know that? Dude, you're a professional. This guy's a fucking professional. Dude, anybody out here listening to this, dude, this dude Gosh. is a professional bullshitter. Right. He says you have to lie to flirt. He makes a rule saying you have to lie to A lot of us are out here trying to get honest answers. We're trying to show demonstrations, bro. And you're just in the background ridiculing it. I mean, you're making it bro, too easy. I can't even get you to, I can't even get you to agree with the with the triangle calculator, bro. I, I'm disagreeing with your application of trigonometry. But you would you didn't want me to explain it to you. So I mean you were gonna miss out on that. Yeah, this is the second show that you're not gonna explain the digit function. I with tried the, with the... I tried, Brian, but oh, three times you interrupted me. Bro, you, anybody it. can do this, okay? Anybody can go to triangle calculator, put in one degree as your or your observer angle, and then put in 93 million miles as your baseline, and we don't need Brian or Toon to give the height. It's going to give it as 1,600,000 miles approximately. It's we don't need you. Brian, Brian. I just wanted to see if you'd agree with it, bro. Of course because I don't. That's the excuse yeah, you Brian, use it's because for the you moon. don't understand the geometry. That's fine. But I'm not going to explain it to you because you won't let me. So do, do you want to actually go to the the original topic and, and discuss the questions that we went over on Jaren's? No, you just said I don't understand geometry. What's there to understand, dude? When when I draw a tangent from my feet that's underneath the cloud, right? Will you even admit to that tune? Is the tangent of my feet lower than the cloud, sir? <laughs> Tra uh, Travis. Why Travis? I said Travis because Glover Mom posted something uh, that said Travis on it. No, Brian. Brian, like I said, three times, three times I tried to explain it. Three times you interrupted me. That's it. That's it, Brian. You won't let me talk about it. You agree with the trig. You won't let me talk about it. I disagree with your trig. There you go. End of this discussion. That's how professional. That's how professional gets out of answering a question. M M no, I tried. You three times interrupted me, Brian. You said you were done the last time. You fully explain it. All you did.
Everybody can go back and listen to you bullshit way through this debate, bro. You are a professional bullshitter, bro. You, there's people who can help you, dude. There are people who can help you because you don't even obviously recognize it. You're dodging simple fucking questions, bro, and just bullshitting your way through this debate. You, Ryan, you wouldn't let me answer. You won't let me answer. That's his excuse. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And, and Rodent, no last name, says, boy, he sure is spending a lot of time talking about anything but Flat Earth Proofs. Definitely. I had to answer. Now, I, it's too All late. Right. I can never answer now. There's three All chances right. and answer right. this simple question. Ryan, I'll, I'm just going to I'm gonna try. I'm going to try. What is the bottom-up obstruction prediction formula? Dude, I already gave it to you for hope, okay? There is no bottom-up obstruction formula. But but things are make, obstructed bottom-up. Okay, you, you really, I don't have to share my screen for this. Did you see where, soundly, this is called real-world demonstration. He set up a seven-mile string of lanterns, okay? He then did a time-lapse. What he got was concave, flat, convex, concave, flat, convex. Same thing with Skunk Bay. We do a time lapse. We see shit going in and out, in and out. Okay, this is called reality. We've demonstrated to you over and over. We've even give you the luxury of zoom. Okay, and you just think that there's some equation that can predict shit, bro. It's wrong when you talk about reciprocals or anything. All this shit, you're never going to get anything consistent, bro. Ever, ever, ever. So, That's the way reality works. Right, so, so, so when you want so, math, uh, so I would ask you this: If, so if I write a, a Apoch's going to be so sad. Long, Apoch's going to be so sad. And no, if I write a sentence ten miles long, tune, and uh, it just says, whatever. I, I refuse to answer Brian's question. I refuse to answer Brian's question. I refuse to answer Brian's question on the ground. And it's a perfectly flat ground, and I write it for ten miles over and over and over. What's the best angle I can get to read? The whole sentence, if I end it at a wall, so I've got a wall in front of me 10 miles away, straight up and down vertical on a flat plane. And now I just write it on the surface. So I've got basically the surface and a wall making a 90 degree angle. And I've just got this sentence written over and over and over and over. I refuse to answer Brian's question. I refuse to answer Brian's question. What's the best angle I can have to reading the whole 10 miles of that sentence, Karen? It sounds to me like you cannot answer the question I asked. Instead, you deflect it. What question? I'm giving you, I'm discussing it right now. So I want to see where your mind what lies. What is the bottom up obstruction prediction formula? There is no bottom up obstruction always. So, I can't give you a formula if it's not, not always then, existent. Yeah, it cuts off yeah, at, at 2,000 feet, according yet, to NASA. Yet There's things... no bottom up obstruction of 2,000 feet. According to NASA, again, I, I'm going to ask you to provide that citation. But right there, I mean, turning torso, I just posted it, uh, definitely is getting obstructed bottom up. And there is a, there is a globe prediction, and it's it's pretty stinking good. There is exactly no flat earth prediction. About later, later that day when, that, when that's not true. You want to ignore that. But here's my question. This this is so going to get us to the point, dude. Uh, what's the best angle we can get at that sentence? If, uh, like I said, with my description, this will get us. It's a I might be able to teach you something, deflect, bro. Deflect away from the actual question. So, got it. I just answered the question over and over and over. Here's no, your no, answer. No, I'm no. not done. No. There no. is no full because there's not always obstruction, tune. You want me to say that over and over? There's no formula because there's not. Well, I mean, there is. There is for the globe, and it's correct. But there you go. Don't there. like answering. You want to just cut my answer off and say you're not answering. When you are the one who won't answer because of saying you're getting cut off, bro, I'm answering your question. There is no formula because there's not always obstruction, tune. You quit saying I'm not answering it. That's dishonest. All right. Let's go to the second one, then. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, now, now, yeah, you waved, so the, you just, waved the white flag. You, you, you punted. I've got an angle. You, you, it's not your turn to ask a thousand questions. If I've got an angle, if I've just got a wall one. and a big long ten mile three. sentence written out, it, what's the best angle I can have to read that? To read the whole ten mile sentence? It's not a trick question, bro. It's it's just a question to see where you think. Uh, if I've got, like I said, on the ground a sentence written on the ground ten miles long, and it it stops at a wall. 
what's the best angle I can get to read that sentence? I, I don't know. I, Brian, obviously, it, it, I obviously can't read it uh, on the ground. I can only read about, what, 50 feet of it, right? I, and I, if I start to get higher and higher, um, I'm, I'm going to ask you what's the best angle I could possibly get. Brian, to, we, we to all know it. you're higher and higher. No, oh, more gaslighting. More, you're a professional, bro. Keep you're them not, coming. You're not high? No, I'm not fucking high. Not right now? Later? What kind of what kind of question is that, dude? You're know. professional. You're running out of shit. Now you're trying to All now right. you're trying to throw digs. Brian, the, the, you you got upset with me that you thought that I changed the topic from something other than the questions that we asked on Jaren's to the questions that we asked on Jaren's when it was always just the questions we asked on Jaren's. And so I asked the first one. You punted. Let's go to the second one. How far away does the sun need to be to set? I've answered every question you've answered, not even one of mine. Well, I'm just going to keep on exposing your ass. Bro, you are a professional, dude. When did you answer this Just question? keep on. If you want to take turns, you want to take turns? Because I'm going to go back to my first question. If we're taking turns. I just answered yours. There's no formula because there is not always obstruction. And once we get above 2,000 feet, according to NASA's paper, shout out to Gleam, there is no bottom-up obstruction. Citation needed. Yeah, like I said, I'll get you that. Uh, according to him, according to bread. But either way, you would agree, or you probably won't, but most honest people would, that on certain, on a lot of days, the, the we see as far as the atmosphere lets us on a lot of days. Yeah, and and, the globe, and, and like I that? said, like I said, Brian, we have we have explanations for that and understandings, and if we understand the conditions, we can predict it. So you just can so you're willing to concede that someday the only limiting factor is the atmosphere. The condition there's more than just atmosphere, but yeah, the conditions are are definitely modify it. And if we have an understanding of what's going on in the atmosphere, it affects our prediction and our oh. predictions are correct. Sounds like a bunch of excuses. You want to it's, give me this list? It's actually of, not uh, an excuse at all. It's one hundred percent our ability to predict things if we know the conditions. Right. One hundred percent. Do you want to give me a that. list of these conditions, please? It sounds like excuses. Maybe it's not. Yeah, you want well, to give hey, me a list of yeah, said hey, conditions, please? Yep. Yeah, the lapse rate would be the first and most important one to get. Okay, so you're up and down. You're talking about, I thought we were looking vertically or horizontally. Yeah. Is that, that the only uh, yeah, the, the most important, the the most the most important one? The, the most important one is the lapse rate. If you don't have that, then it reduces the ability to be precise. Okay, can you show me an uh, observation with a not a flat Earth observation, a globe Earth observation with a lapse rate? You've had five years. Can you demonstrate that for me? Sure, sure. So okay. So 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 that you don't move the goalposts. I want to see yeah. the thermometer. And I want to see all the facts. Oh, you you want the you want the vertical lapse rate measurement? Yes. I want to see what you yeah. ask of us. Absolutely. That's all. Yeah. yeah. All right. Absolutely. Hold on. All right. And I've talked about this before. I just put it in the chat there. It is. Uh, the results of leveling refraction tests by the National Geodetic Survey. It was published in 1981. I put the, the link right directly to it there so you don't even have to follow the DOI link and download it from there. In this, in this uh, measurement, they, they used uh, INVAR um, uh, poles and they put multiple thermometers on these INVAR poles so that they could measure the vertical temperature uh, I mean, does it, is it showing any of this, bro, or is it just claimed? Do you, you got any Globers, like any of these people, any anti-flat earther demonstrations of this? The way we show you temperature, surface temperature, the way we show you the, the temperature off the ground, the actual, you know, where we can derive the lapse rate. Do you have anything besides the government claims? Right, anything well, in reality? Anything I, somebody did? Yeah, yeah, all right. I was in the middle of explaining it. You refused to allow me. Let's go to the next topic then. Wow. 
Just, oh my God. Okay, so you refuse to allow me to complete my explanation for exactly what you asked for. You, it, you did not let me. You do not want this evidence presented. You are scared of it. That's why you constantly interrupt me. So we'll move on. Already presented it, dog. Did you not already present it? And you just explained it. When you start repeating your shit, then I'll try to jump in to save for time. Okay. Anybody can go look and present. Okay, I'm asking you because that's not what I wanted. I didn't ask for some government horseshit. I asked for something that one of you anti flat earthers have demonstrated. Oh, so with you moved, obstruction. It's called moving the goalpost, you Brian. You did what not you specify who had to do it. You did not specify that it in. could not be come from becoming from the National Geodetic Survey. You didn't specify that ahead of time, Brian. That was a goalpost move. The geodetic survey has pre-assumed conditions, bro. Do you want to give any other condition? You said please, there were several. Please cite the paper, so one is the page on this paper that you didn't read, where they have the pre-assumed conditions. Go ahead. We've all what seen page? your page. Okay. What page? You what said page? there are multiple conditions. Hold on. What you said page? there are multiple no, conditions. No, no, no. Right now. You, what page? You, you made the claim. One. You made the claim that they made, they they pre-assumed things. What page of this did they do it on? It's a twenty-eight page paper. Did Which they one? Use R? In their calculations which, which page just which page did you they told use me R? you it's told me question you told me that you are, Al. no brian did you they you made R? the very specific claim that they made assumptions what page did they do that on and now i'm backing it up they used r in their refraction calculations r that's pre-assumed that's what we're arguing about soon is whether r is real or not you what, don't what get page? to pre-assume r what page? and then question me about it bro. what page did they do that on in their measurements you show me a lapse right? that it has anything to do on a flat plane Lapse rate is just a vertical temperature measurement, Brian. Vertical temperature. So if my vertical is flat, then we're not having this conversation, are we? Your Boom. vertical is not flat, Brian. That's not how verticals work. Okay. Now, you said there are multiple conditions. You changing. No, you say the vertical ain't flat. That's what the debate's about, right, Tune? That the vertical ain't flat. You say that uh, zero vertical, uh, our vertical datum is not flat. Okay. Then you go to add R. Why would to I say a vertical any, datum any is measure flat? Ever, bro. But vertical is not, vertical is not, is not something like that's flat running. or not. It, it doesn't make sense, Brian. Are there you, any other conditions? You said the main one is lap rate. You said there are multiple conditions. Yeah. The, any other the, conditions the I need one. to be aware of? Yeah. Well, hey, if you can't get that one accounted for, then then the other ones, any others don't matter. But, uh, you know, things like, hey, if, if it's, if it's uh, hazy or if there's clouds or fog, there's another one. Let me feel you again, Tune. Tune, if I'm one inch off the ground at the salt flats or one foot off the ground and it's flat, then there's no lapse rate because we're at the bottom of the density gradient, dumbass. Of course there's Quit asking rate, stupid right? questions, dude. There's still a lapse Jesus rate. Jesus Christ. If doesn't... you assume the earth is curved, you can give me a lapse rate, bro. It's not going to be the same on a flat plane, genius. Now, can we move on? Brian, vertical, vertical temperature gradients. Vertical if temperature you want gradients. To assume oh the radius, bro, then, then that's different, right? Uh, Brian, Brian, vertical temperature gradients have nothing to do with the shape of the Earth. It's just a, a measurement of the vertical temperature gradient. Welcome to flat Earth, bud. That's, that's not, my point precisely, because you just said it's the main makes condition, no sense at all, Brian. and now you're saying vertical vertical lapse rates have nothing to do with no, it. No, no. Welcome to flat Earth, dog. Br Brian, how dumb can can you be? That is not at all anything. That's not a thing, Brian. It's your main claim, right? That's your main claim. Ver a vertical temperature gradient is just measuring a vertical temperature gradient. It has nothing to do so with the topography. Oh. It doesn't have anything to do with with somewhere else on the Earth. It doesn't have anything to do with the overall shape of the Earth. It's just a vertical temperature gradient measurement. Don't quit That's running. It. Brian. Can I pin you down on anything at all, Brian? bro? Quit. Running. This All you do is aggravated. move the goalpost, You're Brian. Like a you asked me for a very specific thing. I gave you exactly that. You moved the goalpost. Then you made a claim about I'll give it. You, an example that you made a claim there. about the, the citation that I gave you, but you haven't read it. How could you Bro, make I've a claim about the, the okay. how could you, you make a claim about the thing you didn't read? Uh, 
Bro, you can't give me a left rate on a globe without R. Are you going to lie and say that you can? A lapse rate is just the vertical temperature gradient. Right, it's it's measured in degrees and per meter. That's it. You said we don't measure curve in degrees. Last it, not, when I ask you. Oh my god, Ryan. Degree yeah, temperature. Oh my god, is right. Temperature is measured in degrees as well as curves, Brian. Oh my gosh. Yeah, very good, very good. So I'll ask you one more time oh, on a flat crap. plane. If I'm at the bottom of the, of, if I'm at the baseline. And I have a clear flat. What's the lapse rate, dog? And on a globe, do I not have to use, do not, I not have to include the radius if I'm going to calculate the lapse rate on a globe? No. Be honest. No, the lapse okay. rate is just, just a temperature per meter. Per lit. Oh my gosh, Brian. You don't even know what a lapse rate is, Brian. You have no Yo, clue yeah, what a so lapse rate is, and you're trying to enter this conversation? Like a, oh, I do know a quick gaslighting me, bro. I do know what a, you're telling me, that on a globe, that there's no R involved in a lapse rate. You're saying that... Correct. That's right. The lapse rate. You're what you do? Me, Here's how you do it, Brian. Here's how you do it, Brian. You ready? Talking. You ready? This is this is really easy. Here's how you, yeah, how you on, measure a lapse rate. Again. Lie again, Tune. We all hear you. Here's how you measure the lapse rate. You, you, you put a thermometer at, at one meter high. Stop talking so I can explain it to everybody. You put it, you put a thermometer. Brian, stop talking. Brian, stop talking, Brian. Stop be, be an adult, Brian. Be an adult, Brian. Stop talking so I can explain this. Here's how you measure a lapse. You just lost the fucking peak, bro. Oh my gosh, Brian. What if the ground's curving down? Brian, Brian, stop talking so I can explain it. Then you'll understand. You'll stop making such a fool of yourself. All right, a temperature, a vertical temperature lapse rate. You put a thermometer at one half of a meter high. Then you move it up to one meter high. Then you move it up to one and a half meters high. Then you move it up to two meters high. And you record the temperature at each of those spots. That's how you get the vertical lapse rate. There's no radius no. involved, Brian. Hey, so level, right? So so when I line them up at one meter, that's level all the way, right? Not Oh my gosh, so I don't need man. to involve R. Hold on, don't, dude, quit interrupting. So I don't need to involve R because level is straight and horizontal, right, genius? Wow, this is beyond you, I guess. That's All right, not, I have pictures. I, 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 I did dog. this. I did this. All right, here it is. This is me measuring yeah. a lapse rate right there. There's one. I would there's, measure one meter above the ground along the extent. It'd give you the lapse rate. I just go from ground to high, getting your vertical lapse rate, and I extend on. I extend right. on into the distance. There you go, and Brian. I, I give you shush, shush, Brian. I, I posted four pictures there of me measuring a vertical lapse rate. There you think the lapse rate is one spot, y'all. Just it is. It is, measure. Brian. It is in one spot. Look, just, a just lapse like rate is literally thought, in one spot, Brian. I make sure McToon thought that the fourth order measurement is measuring the fourth inch on a fucking tape measure. He doesn't know fucking reality. He thinks that a fucking that the rate is just in one spot and that just explains the whole lapse rate over ten miles. He has no comprehension oh God, of reality. Brian, could you could you could you just look at the things that I posted there, Brian? I'm looking at them. You don't right. understand what, right. what the first what, one. The first one is at one half of a, a meter high. In one position, bro? Shush, do you think I could shush. get a lap rate in one position and tell you shush, the temperature Brian. at one meter, Brian, then shush. then a meter and a half, then two meters, on, and explain a like ten mile? I mean, bro, you, you don't understand. Right. Just just quit while you're ahead, bro. Fine, you're wrong. Flat, you don't understand this shit. You have the, all this shit on your website, easiers. and you can't even explain it properly. I was trying to explain it, but you constantly interrupt like a child. Brian. I'm literally Constantly. waiting for you to finish, and literally you cut me at the last time I had to say something real quick. So I can explain it. I'm gonna keep quiet, fucking running, bro. All right, Apocryphon, could you mute him so that I can explain it, please? You gonna mute me, Apocryphon? Apocryphon, please mute him so that he can, so that I can explain it. You're gonna have to mute him, or this. I mean, we can, we can be done now. Because he's he's too much of a child to, to shut his face and listen. You're not going to excuse. Just Stop kidding. talking. There you go. All right. Thank you, Apocryphon. At one half of a meter, that first picture I put up there is uh, 0.2 degrees Celsius. At one meter, it's 0.7 degrees Celsius. At one and a half meters, 0.9 degrees Celsius. And at um, 
two meters is 1.2 degrees Celsius. That's the vertical lapse right there. So you can do, you can do that right there. There's no globe needed to that to do that. So you can simply look at 0.2 to 1.2 over the the uh, height of one and a half meters. So that is that is uh, typically when you use a lapse rate, you do it over a 10 meter is a, is a convenient one. So you can extend that up to 10 meters or leave it at, at one and a half meters. doesn't matter. That's the, that's the lapse rate. If you want to be more precise, you get it in multiple places, the, the multiple lapse rates between you and the observation. So Brian was kind of on that. There's multiple places where you can get lapse rates, but a single lapse rate is at one single position. All right, go ahead, Brian. You're good. Now you can't use me interrupted as an excuse, okay? Well, okay, so now you're gonna enter you're gonna update your understanding of it. Now you're gonna say, well, you can extend it out. Okay, so if I extend it out and I measure one meter, okay, ten feet away, and then a half a mile away I measure at another meter, and then another half mile I measure at another so two questions. Is that level it being level curved? where you'd have to add R to your lap rate on a salt flat or so like water, or you're trying to say that I can get one lap rate at one spot and that's going to explain my 10 mile observation, bro. I'm teaching you real time dog, Brian, and you're running. You can be more precise by getting more lapse rate measurements, but you can start by doing just one. But if I get multiple lapse rates, right. And I'm high, doesn't that curve down on a ball? It has nothing. Ain't that the whole argument? The, the, the laps, argue, the different lap, uh, lapse rates don't have gradient. anything to do directly with the shape of the earth. Brian. They've heard enough, dude. You, you don't, dude, you can update your understanding later. It extends into the distance. It's not just one spot. You get a lapse rate for one area. That's not going to explain a 10-mile observation, dude. Sure. Now sure, you be know. More precise. Now you can update your Excellent. Update be your more explanation. Precise. Yeah, be more precise but there but lapse rates are vertical measurements a single vertical measurement at one one position that's it okay now so at one position now if i'm gonna do a 10 mile observation and i'm gonna gauge my lapse rate going off distance and i've got a one meter observer height is that gonna curve is my lapse rate gonna curve following r lapse rates don't curve Okay, right, lap, but is my 10-mile observation... A lapse rate is just a vertical temperature lapse measurement. Rate. It's Jesus just Christ. A, it's just a vertical temperature measurement. That's it. Right, right. And is, is that gradient, okay, as, it, as I get lapse rates and I'm calculating my lapse rates off into the distance measure, at one meter viewer that. height, is that going to be a straight line of sight or is it going to curve down when I go to calculate the lapse rate? You measure the lapse rate, Brian. And once you measure it, dude, I'm going to call you running man, dog. Literally, I'm going to call you running man. Once you measure it and you're trying to get some type of bullshit globe calculation, and I'm one meter viewer height, I'm trying to gauge the lapse rate and average my measurements off into the distance. Is one meter height, is that going to stay as a straight line on a globe? Or is that going to curve following R it, it, on a globe? It, if the lapse rate is positive, which it, except in extreme circumstances, it is positive, then that ray of light will bend down. Who cares, bro? I'm, I'm asking you, is the line of sight where I'm gauging my lapse rate measurements up into the distance of my 10 mile observation the more the better okay now is that one meter line of sight straight do I, when i gauge my when i average my lap rates okay do i use a straight line of sight or do i are they curved if, if so, it, so if i'm using a globe time, i've got to insert I'll all have, right i'll have i'll give you the, the the answer a second time if that lapse rate is positive then that line of sight will go. curve down So now level ain't curved on your globe, right? So no, level is, level is still curved. But that line of that line of sight is curved as well. Right, okay. So if I'm now line of sight is with your lap rate on a perfect day, dude, this dude's a... <laughs> is is this this is a simple of well, it's not a simple application. 
it's a it's a rather it's a rather complicated application of Snell's law. It requires differential equations to to uh, to get precise. But people have gone through it and and have ways that have uh, you know rule of thumbs ways to apply it if if you don't want to do the differential equations. Okay. 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 So if I'm looking uh, on the salt flat and I'm one meter high and I see something one meter high, ten miles away, with a laser with direct line of sight. What's up with your lapse rate? Okay, you just get to that. Was it okay if I just took it in one? In one what? Just one spot. Just one little vertical lapse rate. That's sure. all we need, right? Sure, yeah. I mean, yeah, that'll, that's okay. Of course, you can do better, but, but yeah, that's fine. Then what? Okay, welcome to Flat Earth. How, 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 how does that? Flat how does that? Flat how does Got seventeen mile from uh from like one foot to five foot observations. But, They've tried but, to to, Brian, to test the lap three to see if it Brian, changed from different elevations. It never changed, bro. You're Brian, just you're throwing. Brian, did they measure the lapse rate? Dude, they got temperature surface measurements. They got measurements a little higher, but what they mainly did, okay, is they just changed elevations and change distances at the same but, time but ryan i'm asking they showed you, a 10 mile this, this, so they spent, showed 10 miles and a 17 mile and yeah, yeah, showed that it brian, doesn't change brian we've spent so all this time talking about lapse rate. Lapse rate brian, change talked, right all this time we've talked about lapse rate so now i'm asking you in these you observations it, in the i know you didn't understand it but but i'm helping oh, you God. and in in uh, these observations you're speaking of did they measure the the, the lapse rate Bro, I ask you, things started with me asking you for an example of one of you anti flat earthers showing me an observation and showing me lap rates, yeah, showing I, me temperature. I'll, I'll, I'll post it again. And all you did is revert to the model, it. bro. I'll post it again. Right. To, to uh, your uncle, right here Sam, that is. Right there. There we go. There's there's the uh, there's the the uh, the measurement. This exactly what you asked for. Precisely what you asked for. They're measuring the lapse rate, and they're and they're yeah. comparing the lapse rate. They're, they're you got comparing, a video. Brian. They're comparing the lapse rate. They're comparing the measured lapse specify. rate. To, oh my gosh! You just don't. You just can't. You just can't let me finish. Allow me. To you just can't let me finish the sentence, Brian. Is that it? I'm you to refuse. To keep running you refuse to to allow me to ans answer a question. You ask me a question. I'm answering, and you immediately interrupt, Brian. Every single time, and flat earthers, flat earthers, he's yours. We don't want him. He, you're stuck with him. He, he, he won't. He absolutely is scared. He's scared to allow me to answer questions so much that he he can't have enough self control to stop talking long enough unless his own person has to mute him so that he's not so rude that he constantly interrupts. That's the only way you can talk to Brian. Grandstand, McTune, the grandstanding capital, bro. If I asked you for something and I apparently wasn't clear, and you're running your mouth, refuse to stop, and I go to clarify what I'm asking for, and you just won't shut up, and you start path lighting and grandstanding, bro. You are a professional by the definition, bro. You're full of shit. You're not honest. Okay, you All don't you understand need to do is, shit. is let me explain Sorry. things without interrupting, but you can't. If I ask you a question what, what? and you're answering something, you... yeah, I I was answering exactly, but you didn't want to hear it. You didn't want to hear it. It, it hurt you. It hurt your precious. We're not playing dodgeball, bro. We're not playing dodgeball. We're having a conversation or a debate or a discussion. Whatever. You're playing fucking dodgeball, bro. Why don't you answer an actual question, bro? Answer I can't. One you won't let honest, me. Bro. You refuse to let me, Brian. Every time I try to answer, you, you interrupt. So you Every didn't time. Have that excuse. Every time I, I try to answer, to you interrupt. <laughs> then you go back and you say, how come you don't excuse. answer questions? The reason why I don't answer the question is because you won't allow me to answer the question, Brian. You don't want to hear the answer to the question, Brian. It scares you. That's, That's why lie. you have to interrupt. That's a lie. Well, then you're shut up and let me explain it. I bet you won't. Go back to the first question that I asked you about mathematical. If I've got a one degree angle, well, answer that. I'll shut up. In fact, APOT's going to mute me. Answer the trigonometry. Don't answer any implications of it. Just answer the simple trig. One degree. 
Okay, and a 93 million mile baseline. What's the opposite side height? You won't answer it though. Mute me, Apoc, right. and see if they'll answer it. All right. Here's here's the it's it's not that difficult. The the clouds, the angle from the observer to the clouds is not the same angle as the angle from the observer to the sun. So the if you need to do a second triangle at the same distance to the sun at 93 million miles from the observer to the the bottom of the clouds when you're drawing that triangle. That is going to be significantly higher because when you're doing triangulation, you've got angles going on. So while the sun may be in a certain position, the projected position of the clouds is significantly higher than the sun. That's why the angle between the sun and the clouds is the important thing, not the linear elevation at the sun's distance. Done. Okay, ask again for a number, got a theta or observer angle, tangent at one degree. I've got a adjacent or baseline of 93 million miles. I'm asking you again for the hundredth time, what is the opposite side height or C? What is the opposite side height? All right, I will again tell you what. Deflect. I'm going to no. I'm gonna. I'm gonna actually do the math for you, Brian. I've already done it and posted it five no. times. All right, bro. Hold on. I'm. I'm doing the math for you, Brian. But I mean, do you want me to do it, or are you gonna interrupt? Your 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 choice here. Yeah. No. No answer. Good. I will do the math for you. All right. You've got. You've got the sun over there. You've got the clouds here. And so we've got the, the rays coming in to the observer. Rays coming in. Yeah, I know you can't see this, people. All right, so here is, if you want to look on, on YouTube, I'll make this a little bigger. Here's our, my, first, my first step of this uh, diagram here. There you go, right there. So we've got the observer. We've got the sun off, off on the edge there. We've got the clouds. Again, the sun is hitting the underside of the clouds there. And there's the there's the earth so <clears throat> that's step one now i'm going to draw a, a a very distant because people get scale confused um the sun and the moon the sun and the earth now <clears throat> this angle is important from the bottom of the observer or sorry the observer to the bottom of the clouds and i'm going to draw that line i'll see if i can draw it in a different color so that it's uh a little more obvious there so and i'm going to use the same there so all right here we go this is good you're going to love this brian you may not have oh that marker is junk sorry um you need to do two triangles that was the thing i said in my explanation but you didn't get that so this angle we've got two angles going here got theta one theta two all right here you go there it is so we've got the angle i hope uh, brian if you can watch on youtube i don't know but you've got the angle between the horizon and the sun that's theta one and we've got the angle between the sun and the the cloud there that angle there is important because you're going to draw two different um Two different triangles so the second one then is the projected angular position of the clouds i'm going to draw like a dashed cloud right there see that okay now i got to draw in the angle between the edge of the earth and the sun there which is which is your uh one you want to look at so there it is all right so you said it was one degree it doesn't matter. I thought it was closer to half of a degree, but we're going to do it at one degree. And then I'm going to look up at the, uh, I'm going to look at that picture again. And that picture again, one, two, three, four. We're going to say that there's um, three. How about three degrees between the top of the sun and the clouds? All right. So here's the triangles that we're going to need to solve. We've got 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers to the sun and then one degree right here this little one is one degree and we've got 
from the clouds. There you go. That's to the sun there. This is the same baseline here that we're using. That's going to be three degrees. So, and I'll do it in miles for you, Brian, because I don't, I don't know if you're, you're ready for kilometers. Doesn't matter too much, but to save time, uh, I feel like I let you enough in your own drawing. I asked for the number. I said disregard everything else. Just give me the, the opposite side height, which you of now. What I'm going to ask you is put me three miles above that cloud, and show me that same mass. Put me three three miles above the cloud and give me another tangent and show me the math on that dumbass. I'm not done with this one, but you interrupted again. I knew you would. So, all right, we've got, I don't have this. to answer. It's a fucking idiot. All right. So a the, there is 1.6. All right. So this, this, uh, distance right here is you ready? 1.6. 1.6 million. Ta-da! Now, if I'm three miles above the cloud, did no, change I'm, to the I'm sun? Not, I'm not done yet, Brian. Change. Now, hold on. Yeah. Three. So I need to cut, get the other angle there, and that's going to be four. All right. We've got right there. Four. Eight. Seven. Zero. All right, so here it is. Here is here is the corrected uh, trigonometry relationship, trigonometric relationship that you didn't quite get there. So you were looking at the linear elevation that you thought of the sun over the clouds, but you didn't project the clouds out to the distance of the sun. So when we do that, when we do it correctly, I told you that you did it wrong. This is doing it right. We've got the the clouds the projected position of the clouds is 4.8 million miles above the sun which is a 1.6 million miles <laughs> this dude is so stupid dude oh my you god dude you didn't okay, let now me put finish me, now just like I three said. miles above the clouds bro finish. now put right. three miles above go. the clouds and tell right, me how right. much the angle changed I, genius i i uh i uh, i you know i did i try, did try to dumb it down for you a little bit brian but uh I'm I'm afraid that, that it was not possible. No, dumb it down some more, bro. Please dumb it down some more. Now put now put yourself uh, three miles above the clouds. Tell me how much that angle changed, genius. Sorry, Brian. It's beyond. Put you. yourself three miles above the cloud. Yeah. Take yourself off the ground and yeah. put yourself three miles above it's, the cloud. It's gonna be the same thing. Now tell me what what's, what's the angle change? Okay, so the sun is still. One degree above the tangent of my feet. Correct, Tune. Sorry, Brian. Now the clouds underneath me. The clouds underneath me. Yeah. Right? Bri Brian, the sun what, what, is still, what, what, what you've described you know, is going to be dude, another I'm not diagram. Dude, I'm just listening to horse shit for fucking five minutes. Now I'm asking you a simple question. Yeah, Brian. If I go clouds when, above when you're the learning, cloud, When you're learning, that's what happens. You have to sometimes listen for a while, Brian. When somebody is, is educating you for free on trigonometry, you just have to sit there and listen sometimes. Bro, you're but, educating but everybody it's who's obvious, listening to Brian, your that shittery, it, went, dude. it went over your head. And so doing a round two on this will also go over your head. Dude, round two. Okay, so answer the simple question, Mule. If I'm three miles, if I'm 100 miles above the and I've got it, did, this, did the angle to the sun change more than anything appreciable? Or is the sun do, still do one want, degree? I can, I can draw the diagram for above the clouds. I'll I'll do that for you, Brian. I, I'm 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 not I'm not confident that you'll understand it, but I will. I no, will you draw it for you. The question what you'll do, what you'll really do, is not answer my question. So right. now I've went up a hundred miles. Yeah. Now what I want with the clouds one hundred feet or miles below me? What's the new opposite side height? All right. So with a one degree we've, we've got, sun, it's still one degree, right? Yeah. All right. So here's here's what yeah, yeah. here's what we've got. I'm just drawing to the diagram again. We've got the the clouds are going to be since they're below you now. So we've got theta two here, and we've got theta one here, right? All right. There we go. All right. Here is, and then people people have screenshotted this. That, that was nice. Thank you. I'll put this up here. Um, that is the sun too. Did that raise the sun when I moved? There you go. There you go. There's there's the new diagram. Now the clouds are below because you're you're 
physically higher than the clouds. So that's going to change still the angle to begin. The bottom, right? so Aren't they go. still hitting the bottom? Did my height change the there fact that the sun and the sun and the, the clouds are underneath my feet? But now okay. it's still but, hitting the bottom yeah, of the cloud. The but, sunlight Brian, what's is still hitting is, the bottom. Is that, cloud. is that your view to the to the clouds changed dramatically because you're close to them, and your view to the sun did not change dramatically because it's very far away. So there you go. So it's dark. Isn't it right? I, I, so it matters right, where the observer is. It's carnivore, right? Jim? Carnivore dropped it in there for you. So there you go. There's the corrected application for perspective and trigonometry for you to to answer your question. And thank you for letting me talk uh, 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 through it. I, I I apologize that I could not dumb it down enough for you though. Dumb it down, bro. You're so full of shit. So when I went 100 miles. Okay, is the light still hitting the bottom of the cloud down there? Yeah, but you can't, you can't see it because you're above the cloud. Now. It's a simple question. Quit dodging, dodgeball. Is the light still hitting the bottom of the cloud? When I, when I come up and the angle's still one degree down, I'm 100 miles. I still have a one degree downward angle from the sun. It's still projecting a downward shadow, but in, in the math doesn't change, right? Yeah, I mean, look at look at the diagram. Have you looked at the diagram? Did, did you look at the diagram, bro? I'm looking at your horse shit. Fucking, I'm did, looking at your horse shit, bro. Did, did it? Was it too much for you? Right. Oh, you're not answering the question. So I, when I, what's I my exactly, new angle? I directly what? answer the question, bro. What's my? Why are you putting an observer on the sun? The observer's not the sun. The observer's on the earth. But why are you drawing theta from the sun in in the diagram? Because there's a, there's an angle between between the, the, no, no, no. Wait, the horizon. Theta I is wasn't the done talking. Angle, right? I wasn't done talking, Brian. I, I, no, you just you make shit me, up, dude. You asked me a specific question. I got three or four words into it. You jumped in. You're a dick. Why do you have to be so rude, Brian? Why can't you just let me answer a question? You asked me a question. Oh, you're making you won't, shit up. I you asked won't you hundred times. Yeah, you won't let me. All right, thanks, Brian. You're an Please asshole. Change. Leave. Go ahead. I'm not fucking going over dipshit. I Got asked it. you a hundred times. What's I didn't ask you about the. All right, Apocryphon. I'm not listening to him anymore. He's just too rude. He's all worked up. I get it. Brian gets worked up, but but Apocryphon, thank you very much for having me. Um, it's been it's been uh, two hours and fifteen minutes of Brian interrupting me constantly. So he's yours. You got to keep him. I don't. We don't want him. Um, but you know. He's got he's got that little bit of you know that something about him that that you just can't not love. So Apocryphon, um, thanks a lot. All right, man. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I wish you guys could have uh, talked about it. I know there's a lot more to cover, but no worries. Uh, he he did not time. want to talk we'll about see. the questions I asked Jaren on Jaren, so that's fine. I get it. But anyway, all right, Apocryphon, I'm gonna all head right, back to a... uh, to my channel, and uh, we'll uh, we'll catch you again next time. All right, man. Sounds like sounds good. Take it easy. All right, I need to unmute Brian. I don't want him left muted. Genius to reckon that I'm asking questions. I didn't. I said forget. All right, there we go. Anyway, <laughs> that clearly went over his head. That and I mean, you know why I was hesitant to start answering it because it's not. It's not just a a quick answer right and and i tried i really did i tried to present it in a way that he might actually understand um but two-dimensional geometry is a bit much for him i think so <laughs> and and he thinks he's smarter than other people like oh he's brian you're not that smart you're not that bright and yeah he needs to take anger, anger management okay phd tony said Again, how much do I have to pay to make it stop? Dear merciful God, please make it stop. That was before Brian got here. <laughs> MK Ultra said he's got a limp something, that's for sure. <laughs> this limp balloon. Um, Gary Little says, hey Brian, if I'm at 35,000 feet over uh, Bakersfield, California, why can't I receive a VHF, UHF, VOR transmitting 200 watts on the East Coast? He won't know. He'll change the subject for sure. Um, they're like, 
I mean, radio is photons. Light is photons. And and sometimes they get, they they think it's the same. Sometimes they, they think it's very, very different. Um, um, but the same rules generally apply to their transmission. Um, Snell's law applies to all radio waves, to all photons, and it varies with with wavelength. Um, but it doesn't stop. It it uh, it increases and decreases based on wavelength. Um, and also, it can reflect. And there are things that cause radio waves of certain frequencies to reflect, and causes radio waves of certain frequencies to not reflect at the same transition uh, boundary state. Um, Stringer News 1 says, Thanks, Brian, for showing us how the inside of your mind looks. It's absolutely horrifying. <laughs> um, Pythagoras says, Give slow-mo MC2 in his own show. Oh, yeah, he had to slow down the thing. He he would not let go of the, the simple application of perspective. And th that's... And the reason why I said that is because flat earthers claim perspective, perspective does magical things, but perspective doesn't. Things that are above, just within the framework of perspective, things that are above won't cross to below. Things that are below won't cross to above. So the sun, perspective, won't allow the sun to be partially obstructed by the horizon. It will always be above the horizon within perspective. So when flat earthers start yapping about perspective, that's the answer. Within perspective, it will just get smaller as it gets farther away. And as you increase the distance, the amount of that gap between the horizon and, or like in that tunnel between the, the ground, the the, um, um, the road, how did I have a hard time remembering the word road? Um, the gap between the light, for example, on the sides of that headlights and the road is a certain angular size. That angular size is, is determined by solving triangles. It works. Um, and then when you go from 10 meters away to 20 meters away, it decreases by a certain amount. When you go from 20 to 30, same increase in distance, the amount of angular change is not the same. It's a less angular change. And you go to 40 and it's between 30 and 40. It's even a less smaller angular change. And every time you add another 10 meters to that distance, the amount of angular change between the road and the light, that it's smaller. Every time that difference is smaller every time. They don't get that. They think, they think it's linear. They don't understand. When I say it's an asymptote, they don't get that. Brian, three weeks ago, did not understand when I said asymptote. He, he, he's like, it's logarithmic. It's exponential. It's this. It's this. No, no. Anyway. Um, Bear Frost, a photon of light at 300 megahertz is one meter long. It is still a photon of light. Yes, it is. Um... Uh, Emissarium Biggins says, Brian's only reason for coming on was to catch you in a gotcha on the perspective thing. Yes, he certainly wanted to go after that. Um, Rihanna Johnson said, Brian Montgolfier, full of hot air, viva la France. And I'm sure I said Brian Montgolfier wrong, if that's supposed to be a French thing. Three Ron says he truly has the mind of a small child. Indeed. Indeed he does. Um, all these things, like, it's so simplistic. He went on and on about lapse rate. And then he's like, what about these observations at the salt flats? Well, what was the measured lapse rate? They didn't measure it. Why did we talk about lapse rate? Um, uh, Hein, Heinz, H-E-I-I-N-Z? has been a member for 12 months, says, what is the point of wanting the earth to be flat? Well, that's a psychological question. And I've, I've got my ideas on it. I, so, but it's psychology. So who knows? It's a little nebulous. I think that there are a lot of flat earthers. They, they came to flat earth damaged, pre-damaged. They had a difficult time. They didn't, they weren't bright. They, they, 
weren't often successful in some way. Um, they struggled with, with things in life, I think. I, I think that's a pretty common deal. Not always. Um, <clears throat> but uh, these aren't, these are psychology, it's not a hard rule. And uh, so they, they struggled with that. I'll take out my earbuds. Um, and then, you know, they're not smart. They're just not smart. I, they, they, there's no flat earther that's actually smart. You, you, Brian Mullins, apparently a mechanical engineer. He's he's not smart. I don't know how he got to be a mechanical engineer. When he talks about this uh, this leveling device that he wants to build, no mechanical engineer should should ever propose something like that. Because that that very so he proposed a multi mile long physical device that uh, over near water or something to test whether or not it deviates from the surface of the water. But the um, the the precision that you'd need in that is incredibly high. And so he's talking about taking beams and putting them together. And if you think about this. An intersection between that first beam and the second beam. If it deviates, if its angular deviation is enough that one mile away, it would cause a deviation of eight inches or more. You've completely blown out your ability to identify whether or not it's it's accurate, right? It has to be significantly more precise than eight inches a mile away. At, at least in order of magnitude, right? You'd want it to be less than an inch of deviation at every single intersection. And that is actually n too generous still, because if you have a, a second intersection, that same deviation, guess what? Now you're two inches out. At your eighth intersection, if you're three inches out or eight inches out, now you've completely blown it again. So the precision necessary is super, super high. And he claims to be a mechanical engineer and he doesn't get that. This is this is simple stuff. He's not smart. Brian Mullins is not smart. I don't know any flat earthers that are very smart. So how do they get that? Well, so yeah, so they get that. They're not that smart. They they but then they discover, they hear this, that you know, they all like to come on and give the same story that they tried to debunk flat earth, but they couldn't. What process did they do to try and debunk flat earth? Every one of them, with exceptions, of course. They watched flat earth videos. Sorry, watching flat earth videos is not trying to debunk flat earth. Trying to debunk flat earth is simple. The sun could never set. Let me do the math. Oh, the sun could never set. That's it. That's super easy to debunk flat earth. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so anyway, so then, then they get to the other side. They're not smart enough to figure that simple thing out. So then they get to the other side of watching their 300 hours of flat earth videos. And they're like, oh, I know something that nobody else does. So they have that secret knowledge. And then they feel special. They've lacked that all their life, that feeling of special. Um, then you add on top of it, a lot of them have social problems. They don't have a lot of close friend relationships. So then they get into the flat earth community and suddenly they've got an actual community. Everybody needs community. They've generally lacked it a lot and now they have it. Well, it's rare for them to want to leave. So the question Heinz asks, what is the point of wanting the earth to be flat is they want the community. That's what keeps them in. You look at Ranty Flat Earth. How, when he escaped, it was after he broke ties. He wasn't friends with people anymore. How did Jose leave? Jose J.G. Gonzalez. I, I don't know as much about his, his departure. Um, how about Rachi? Rachi was getting attacked from all the Flat Earthers. And so she's like, well, I, I got no ties to this community. But if somebody has a tight tie to the community, they're not going to want to leave. There's a huge reason to not leave. So um, symbolism literacy says more evidence that it's a religion. Uh, it, it's a religion and it's a sociological thing. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's both. So, oh, we've got, we've got a turtle coming. She gets bigger every, every week. Here he is. 
Okay. He's noisy. Okay, here. He's going to sit upside down. There you go. There. He's happier when he's upside down. Let's get your... There you go. So, so handsome. Yeah. The kid's tapping up there, so he looks up there. He says, all right, thank you, turtle. Anything you want to say? There you go. He's great. No, no, let him out. Let him out. <laughs> Closing the door. Um, okay. Um, Graham Price, why does Earth being a globe make him want to cry? It's the same thing. It's the emotions, the religion. I don't think Brian is as much religious. I think for him, it's it's, <laughs> it's a lot of emotions. He wears them. He wears his emotions very much on the outside. Uh, Memk Ultra says it's Brian with no brain. It's Brian with no brain. He's really dumb and also insane. To prove his derpy worth, he'll try to prove flat Earth. He's dinky. He's Brian with no brain. <laughs> to to the to the tune of Pinky in the brain. Thank you for that. Serene News One says it's hard to grasp straws with dragging knuckles. <sighs> I like this. Maybe Brian should get Starlink internet. He probably has just regular landline internet where he lives. Um, I think he, he lives in a, a town of some sort. It's He's on Wi-Fi. He's, I think he's out in his garage. I don't know. Maybe his, his wife's like, no, you're not. Stay out. Um, uh, 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 okay. So, all right. Uh, melodic lyrics is flurf perspective fail. And that's that's another thing, right? Perspective is not that difficult to, to comprehend, right? It's 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 solving triangles, right? Um, and but he he couldn't even get that right. He could not grasp this part of it, that the angle between the viewer and the and the clouds put the the other end of this triangle of the clouds above the sun if if you know looking at def, def, for the def for some definition of above right above really relative to the observer's position on the earth he couldn't get that and then he had to go for another one right and i explained it and then he's like well what if i move higher i don't it was too hard for him um copper and quarter says sorry i was busy prepping ram chips for gold refining that the nitric acid is dissolving the base metals now so that gives me a good three hour break oh i would never i don't oh. copper and quarter extracts gold from circuits and uh, i've done a little I, I i got stalled i need to move on I ha um um and uh um it, yeah he uses nitric acid nasty stuff um, anyway, Zoomeray says perspective taught in tech drawing, but not perspect. Perspective taught in tech drawing, but not perspect. I don't know what that means. Not perspect. Mm. Randomly Epic gifted five memberships. Thank you for that. Um, <laughs> Stringers once says, Brian, trichonometry is not math. What he's trying to do zoomeray sorry i meant to pay, say perspective was taught to me in tech drawing but never refraction why was that oh yeah well in tech drawing would that be like a, a cad type stuff right where you're not drawing you're not doing artwork you're you're drawing unless i'm misunderstanding your class there but you're drawing stuff for architecture of some sort right so yeah um um uh al alda who al dent al dente al dente solo it says it's sad how flurfs are blind to their perspective fetish being monetized by their flat earth priests slash grifters Oh, somebody wants to come on right now to be uh, some opposition. Well, all right. 
Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Let me get through this. Mr. Lonely says, Brian, just shut it and listen. One time, once, he twice did. When Apocryphon muted him and then when I was explaining this. And I, I don't know if Apocryphon muted him for that one too. Um, that was it. That was the only time when I was allowed to uh, present, to, to answer the questions he was demanding that I answer without him constantly interrupting. Serene News 1 says, don't buy internet from the back of a white van. <laughs> uh, Crean Bill says, he has no interest in you answering any questions. He only wants you to give him the answers that he wants to hear. Yes. Right. So he has decided what the answer is. Um, and if I'm, if I'm not giving him the answer that he wants, then it's wrong, he thinks. Um, yeah. And of course, none of what he did, none of it is wrong for flat earth like you don't talk about flat if flat earthers refuse to talk about flat earth um <laughs> serena news one says is it true that gigo was written about brian garbage in garbage out yep that's true um tim tully says gotta interrupt to flurf they don't all but brian whoo that's his thing. He didn't, you know, we've had, Brian and I have had conversations. But lately, like, we can't. He won't. <clears throat> He's, he gets so worked up. So, um, Serena News 1 says, Happy Festivus, everyone. Air those grievances. And Brian did. Um, Mark Beiser says, Pretty sure Brian was still muted the whole time. Or talking this whole time was muted. Yes. Eric Burns, who talks more, Brian or Bro Sanchez? Definitely Bro Sanchez. And Bro won't, with <laughs> just a few times, he doesn't want to go anywhere where he doesn't have control of the mute button. Right? And he'll talk for half an hour and then ask a question. And then you start answering. And then he'll say, whoa, dude, you're you're interrupting me. You're not letting me talk. Like, oh my gosh. Bro is, a, bro, bro is worse than Brian on that one. Absolutely, Bro. Felicia Sanchez, really. Um, Melodic Light says, Brian doesn't understand that his math isn't wrong. It's his logic. Yes. Uh, that The diagram that I drew shows that. Um, M. Burnham 603. Flurfs down, bottoms up. That's the, that's the way things will obstruct. Flats down, bottoms up. And that's his deflection. What is the formula for bottom-up obstruction for flat earth and he says there is none which is a problem right and it and he's like well it depends on conditions take the base case right i'm ha we can do that for the globe you do that for flat earth what's the base case where there's no weird conditions right let's say there's no air involved if you could if you could construct uh, a surface where there's no air involved What's the bottom-up obstruction formula? Or whatever it is that you say is, is confounding the observation. What is it? Nothing then still. See, it's all just a deflection away from the failure. There is no actual mechanism that would cause something to be obstructed bottom-up if there's nothing between you and the other object. Save for very rare conditions of refraction, which is not established. Um, and, and it's not even, it's not even very rare. It's, it's not possible. The reason why, um, Walter Bislin took the reciprocal zenith angle measurements from the transcontinental triangulation in the American Arc of the Parallel book. I'll finish this and move on. Um, and, and he, he used in one of his charts, he used the radius of the earth the distance between those two observations and and output the necessary um, a coefficient of refraction, which is usually abbreviated, uh, the variable K, in, which is related to the lapse rate. And the, the necessary coefficient of refraction was 0.1 to 0.2 in that range. Normal... Um, uh, values 
the necessary coefficient of refraction for the earth to be flat was in the range of negative 0.8. A value of, of 0 0.2, 0 0.3 is, is unusual. A value of 0.45 is very unusual. Um, but going the other direction, the negative value, so the negative value would be um, light curving up. It's, it's rare. And a, a value of 0 0.1 is very, very rare. 0 0.2, 0 0.3, I mean, these things don't happen except in, 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 in really controlled circumstances. You could maybe manufacture it. In air, not, not really, uh, because, because the, the, the denser air has to be on the top and the thinner air has to be on the bottom. But that's an, inst an unstable condition. They're going to want to flip. So to manufacture a, a, a 0.8, a negative 0.8 coefficient of refraction requires very thin air here, very thick air there, and, and, and it's not stable. You could do it in a solid, but not in a, not in a, a fluid. Um, <clears throat> so no refraction and bottom-up obstruction on the moon. Yeah, so on the moon, on a flat moon, <laughs> there would be no bottom-up obstruction because there's no air to mess with it. But uh, yeah, there's there's no uh, the the distance formula on the moon does not need to take into account refraction because there isn't enough air. Okay, so that was a that was a long explanation for how it's not actually possible for the refraction to conditions to to happen for something to be obstructed bottom up like like they say is due to refraction. There has to be they need to propose something else, and they've tried, but of course there is no reason. There's nothing between you and the distant object. Nothing will obstruct it in, in, except for, you know, the cases I mentioned. Uh, anyway, MK Ultra says life of Brian, the flurf version. <laughs> Wolf, Wolf says, um, he cries out in pain while striking you. This could be a wonderful example of projection textbook example. Um, yeah, PhD Tony says, is there a way to copy and paste my, pr my earlier super chat, which was, <laughs> uh, let me find it. I I'll read it. I'll read it for you. I, I gotta search for it. Um, there it is. How much do I have to pay to make it stop? Dear merciful God, please make it stop. That's your previous one. Thank you, Tony. Um, battle against misinformation. Hey, that's a nice name. It says flurfs don't math speak and don't comprehend randomly epic says why do i feel like brian was coached by oakley for this debate so brian actually oak oakley oakley reviewed the the debate that i had with brian i didn't i watched just or listened to just portions of it and and oakley just tore into brian just ripped him because oakley didn't approve for, for a guy that refuses to debate, Oakley sure does have a lot to say about debating. Um, I, I would not think that he was coached by Oakley, but I would not be surprised if Brian listened to all of Oakley's critiques. Could be. Um, Serena's one says, once again, math beats meth. If only you knew. William Foley said someone needs to take anger management. He definitely does. R Repo Sandman says, I actually appreciate Brian's urgency in his debate to be appreciated in his, and his desire to be appreciated. We all feel that he's just going about it the wrong way. Yes, I agree. Um, Casey Cooper says, I'll paint your picture on the wall if you will buy the easel I'll paint your picture on the wall what picture do i have on the wall one of these or 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 this one or or i don't know if i understand if I, I misunderstand that um hmm all right i see spin says flying across country on a red eye have a good night tune thank you i see spin um Maybe Repo Salmon, or uh, sorry, Casey Cooper, you can explain yourself a little more in the, the regular chat there. Your portrait. Oh, my portrait. You'll, you'll paint my portrait if I buy the easel? 
or a port a portrait of me i don't need a portrait of me um uh thanks well so so somebody has sent like some fan art i have some fan art um that uh let's see i can find it quick let's see if i have if i labeled it yeah yeah all right i labeled it fan art got a bug flying around here uh all right here you go There you go. It's myself and FTFE. That's from S. Aston. Uh, here's another one. From, and that was pencil. And then an, there, there it is colored in. So thank you for that, S. Aston. But I, I mean, that's nice. I'll buy an easel, I guess. Watching you eat the s'mores at 1.5 speed was pretty funny. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right, uh, PG Tony is coming in about refraction here. It says you can get conditions where the higher density air cannot sink because it would get hotter, reducing its density to be less than the lower air. That is, however, extremely rare and doesn't last long. True, yeah. Um, you know, wind can mess this up pretty easily. It can't sink because it would get hotter, though. Why would the the denser air yeah the denser is um oh yeah 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 so in in the lower atmosphere the bottom one kilometer or 10 kilometers different places have different things um it's primarily the temperature that determines the the density and the index of refraction above that it gets colder and colder and colder and and so if you're but it also gets significantly less dense. So the cold air normally wants to be at the bottom and warm air at the top. But when there's a significant differential of pressure, then that then it can't happen. So um, that's not quite this. That's not quite it though. I don't know. All right. Well, all right. We've got we've got somebody that wants to come on. I had I had to get through the super chats here. Somebody that wants to come on and, and uh, give me a little light opposition. So I'll do that. I'll do that for a minute here. We'll see how it goes. He was on when... Um, when was he on? He was on when I did uh, the Artemis launch, I think. So, all right. Let me get this up then then you can come on does anybody remember the artemis launch who i had on we'll see how it goes <laughs> all right invitation sent so he can uh he can join or not he was he wants somebody else to be on here too i don't know we'll see uh, PhD Tony says the descending air moves to higher pressure, which increases its temperature and reduces its density. Oh yeah. 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 Cause it's, it's the pressure at, at elevation is, is low. And as it gets lower then the pressure will increase. And so it's density will increase. So it's heat will increase at the temperature. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it's not a very, uh, it's not very stable and it's, yeah, it's rare. So, all right. anything come on in come on in um anyway so little review brian brian did not want to talk about the questions that um yeah and and it makes sense there is no answer and he's right there is no answer for flat earth for for what would cause that um my second question to him was let me see if i can uh did i put it up oh i didn't put it up there oh i don't have i i only pasted it in the um this will do 
my second question to him was how far away does the sun need to be to set and and this is a this is a little harder one i think for him to dodge right because they make very specific claims about the sun they say it's moving away from your perspective oh well excellent let's see it show us how that works apply perspective to show how the sun would set and of course they never do um and brian would not answer he when i was on jaren's he he refused to answer that and and oakley oakley's response to the first one and and the second one was the same was that it's a straw man what do you mean it's a straw man the sun sets there's no question about that every day it sets I just want to know, well, how far away over your flat earth does it need to be to set? Because we know, if you look at the flat earth map, especially for December, the sun sets for places that are close and it's not set for thing places that are far. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, Shimokus is not every day. Yes, between the... the uh, um, Arctic Circle and the Antarctic Circle. It sets every day. So, um, counting flowers on the wall. I don't have flowers on the wall. Peachy Tony says, I vaguely recall you need a stark contrast in humidity, hot, dry air at altitude, cold, very humid air at low altitude. I suppose that would, that would prevent the, um, the mixing like that. And and in the troposphere, there there gets to be a ducting, and uh, so of course, as as is always the case, flat earthers ignore well known um, phenomena. So, um, taboo conspiracy posted a video of a LoRa communication, L O R A, a communication that was rather far, and. And it would be too far if it was direct line of sight, but it was not direct line of sight. It went through tropics, tropoducting, they call it a tropics, tropospheric ducting. So, um, and, and Stringer News 1, it's not in Minnesota, it's not ducked, ducked goose, it's ducked, ducked, gray ducked. So, uh, oh, he says he's in, he's in, let's see. Yes, I do see. Um, let me let me fix this here. There you go. Okay. Um, you want to say something? Go ahead. Say hello. Hello. Oh, your microphone's too soft. Hello. There you go. All right. Welcome. Welcome, Roland. Why is my name? D -d 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 Oh, I, nobody can see it. Oh. Because you're not on screen. Were you going to be on screen? No. Okay. Well, then nobody Did can you see. think I would be? No. No. But I but I changed it because I didn't want... I didn't just want your real name, Bartholomew, to be on screen. And I might accidentally say Bartholomew. Um, And so that's why I changed it to just D-D-D-D-D-D. So I don't... That's weird because my real name is... Boulder, and I changed it to rolling my boulder. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Metal Jacket says in Canada it's Duck Duck Goose Duck. That's funny. Do do you did you play Duck Duck Goose or Duck Duck Gray Duck? A goose, definitely. Really? So can, what, what is the it's other option? Gray Duck. No one plays that. That's not even a it's, thing. It's a thing it's so much a thing that it's weird for me to hear say somebody say goose that's how goose is the thing. wait what goose is the normal thing i duck, know duck, now duck, duck, duck goose yeah but we always would say duck duck gray duck oh in fact what, you're from canada though the you're name, from canada the name of the university of minnesota ultimate frisbee team no it's cool is is gray ducks that's the name of their team. But you're talking Canadian now. That's no, Minnesota. Same. Uh yeah, Brenda Brenda Debates says tune is correct. You Brenda Debates says tune is correct. Yeah. 
Brenda's from Minneapolis too. Minneapolis. Area. Yeah. yeah. We talked earlier. You, we talked about your crying and uh and your tears. Who 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 did you talk you talked with Brenda about my crying and tears? Yeah, uh-huh. Is this true Brenda? Brenda Brenda won't throw me under the bus like you do. Oh, that's but but if Brenda wants to be truthful, then Brenda must say yes. Because we did, in fact, talk about your tears. Ah, my tears. When when did I cry? Oh, oh there you go. Brenda so that's says two questions. Two Brenda questions. Brenda says I don't recall, but I could be senile. Oh, do we need screenshots? Yes. Brenda does not want that. I. You know what? I'm not gonna throw Brenda under the bus. Brenda, as the actually, Brenda gave me the the Discord link to your asylum, and uh, you know I'm gonna do Brenda right, to my even though husband. she wants to wipe your tears away. <laughs> he, she, yeah. What uh, what do we do these days? I, I, what is the gender neutral thing to say? If you want to say that person wiped away MC Tunes tears. I, Say that, yeah. Just say you, that. You just say that. Say that that person. I, I don't know. Well, okay. Your tears have been wiped away, so. Um. <laughs> all right. All right. Oh, hold on. Hold on. So, um. Yes. So somebody messaged me about the the concert on Friday. Are you going? I don't want to say your name. Are you going? What's the concert? Um, it's uh, so on on Saturday, last Saturday, was a Megadeth concert in in uh, Prior Lake at Mystic Lake Casino, but I mm -hmm. could not go because I was in super exciting Des Moines. Yeah, that's right. Are you being sarcastic? Be be jealous, people. I was in Des Moines, Iowa this weekend. Mm -hmm. um uh, anyway so i could not go to to see megadeth but as it happens this coming friday at the highway 47 pub and grub in fridley minnesota is a megadeth cover band a, an iron maiden cover band and a dio slash richie blackmore cover band so i will be there oh wait as a band member as a as a, uh, a a fan in the crowd oh because if you were the drummer, the drummer i'd be buying plane tickets drummer yeah not if i was a guitar player or the singer just the no, drummer just the drummer why the drummer because the rage the like anger of hitting the drum just seeing you like let loose let it all out yeah, you can't do that as a guitarist. What are you gonna do? Like strum the strings really hard? Nah. Until they break. Yeah, but as a drummer, you can, you can let it all hang out, man. Uh, it's gonna be staying in. There was a one-handed drummer, you know. Yes. Neil Pert was not his name. It was, Neither was Curious George. Yeah, Curious George was also not yeah. his name. Um, I can't remember his name. It was a Jeff Leopard. Drummer. Let's do more things that wasn't his name. <laughs> um. So okay. there's okay. there's okay. A, How about hold this? on. No, How about there's, this? I got to There's a drummer on TikTok that's super super mm -hmm. fast, and he plays to show off. He plays the the drumming part for different songs one handed. Really? Right. Just and to prove a point. Just to prove a point. Like he can, yeah, he's super fast. And sometimes he'll be drinking something while he's doing it just to, just to show off. And I'm, I'm like, oh, that's nothing. You know, he, big deal. You can play nothing. with one, you can play with one less arm than, than some other drummer. Go ahead. Play with one less arm than the drummer from Def Leppard. <laughs> I dare you. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, I see what you did there. Yes. 
Yes. Okay. And, how about and, this? It'd be better if I remembered the guy's name. It would be. But let's do let's do more band trivia. Oh. Are you familiar with either Led Zeppelin or Pink Floyd? Uh, I've heard of them both. Okay, good. Do you know about their agreement uh, with the garden watering stuff? The garden watering stuff, I do not. Oh, they um, agreed. That, well, they were both kind of into gardening and agreed to to take care of each other's plants, water each other's plants while they were each on tour. Okay. Anyway, it turns out that uh, Roger waters Robert's plants. Oh my gosh, that's that was a lot for for the payoff. Oh, but it was, was good. You it. took your glasses off. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it. it was oh my gosh. for me? <laughs> it was. <sighs> <laughs> Uh, um yes brenda is, roger that, waters <laughs> there you go. um brenda debate says that uh dad jokes and yes definitely dad jokes no that's not a dad joke oh yeah that was that was totally appropriate given the conversation about bands and stuff we didn't know it turned into a dad joke. All right, the guy's name is Rick Allen from from uh, Def Leppard. You, do you do this? You 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 crowdsource all your facts. Oh yeah, that yeah definitely. Actually, I just googled right. it. I, I just I Google sourced. But okay. Google lies. Uh, unless the flat earthers uh, want the the answer from Google. Okay. <laughs> Leslie Rora says, I don't get it. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, so now we have don't to get explain what? it. We have to explain it just for Leslie. Um, the Roger right. Waters, Roger. Yeah. All right. Here, hold oh. on. Here you go. <laughs> Leslie, here's what you do. Here, That's here, rough. You go. Yeah. What you do here. This is what you see. This is going to be a Google search here. You go. This was, um, um, Led I can't Zeppelin. believe you're explaining this joke. Yeah. So you go, Led, you Google Led Zeppelin wiki, right? And then you click on it there. All right. Then, then you go down to the drummer. For, for um, right. So you just like type drummer, right? And drummer John Bonham. But but was it was it just drummer? Wait, are we talking oh, about no. the one-handed drummer? No or no we no. We're talking, talking about, about yeah. Singers. We're talking about the lead singer. Yeah. Lead we're talking singer. about lead singers. Yeah. The lead singer of Led You're Zeppelin. Getting all mixed up. Robert Plant, and then yeah. hold Roger on, hold on. Waters. <laughs> Robert's Plants. Okay. You're so now, confused now. Now, Pink Floyd is, there is no member of Pink Floyd named Floyd, nor Pink. No, just for no, reference. Ni no, neither did I claim such a no, thing. No, exactly. So, um, so here you go. You've got I the, said. The guitarist. I said. Right. Yes, yes, yes. So you've got the guitarist for Pink Floyd there is George Roger Waters. He just goes by Roger Waters, right? So you've got Roger Waters there. And you've got Robert Plant here. So go ahead, say, say the punchline again there. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 you've got everything confused. I know. You've got one-armed drummers yes. mixed up with lead singers. Just, just jump to the punchline. <laughs> Roger Waters, Robert's Plants. There you go. All right, Leslie, do you get it now? <laughs> Roger Waters. And it doesn't have Robert anything to Plants. do with Def Leppard. No Def Leppard involved. Nothing at all. Nothing no at all. right, Leslie, I'm glad. No drummers. I'm <laughs> glad I can help. That's uh, Leslie. That's oh, you know, know you know who could explain this better? Is Brian Leak. <laughs> of all things, Brian Leak could not explain. This is the main thing he could not. Oh, I should I should finish the poll on David Weiss. If you haven't yet voted in the poll on... on uh, who is a scammer? Um, now's your chance. You have just a couple seconds. Wait, can I get on that list? Uh, it's too late. The question, who is a scammer? <coughs> Damn. All right. Five. I would have won. I would have won. Four, three, two, one. End poll. Uh, uh, yeah, who is a scammer? David Weiss is a scammer uh, with 54%, but also Dearth with 27%, and also Flat Earth Dave. With 12 wow. and Flat also Earth Dave is, is is quite high and also deep inside the rabbit's hole you know that can s I, makes um, all the difference can i can i expose my own uh ignorance 
I thought uh, Dearth and David Weiss were the same person. Indeed they are. Oh. Then why are they? I'm so confused. All all four of those answers were the same scammer. Wait, I thought Flat Earth Dave. Wait. <gasps> Flat Earth Dave is not the one that... He, all right, everybody. So you know, Roland's favorite Flat Earther is Pissy Dave, Dave Murphy. Because he wait, likes wait, to watch him drink on, his whoa, own whoa, urine. Whoa, whoa, that's not my favorite flat earther. I have a favorite flat earther, and that's not at all. <laughs> no, no, yeah, you, you definitely. You, I don't you like watch pissy flat when, when you are like, yes, I watch tense. them when you're tense yes. and you want to relax. You watch Pissy Dave drink his jar no. of urine. Okay, okay, okay. So many things are wrong with that. I can't even. That's not how I relax. I don't relax by what he just said because that actually is stressful yeah all right and who's I, your favorite? I relax with i relax with uh classical music but who's your favorite flurf my favorite flurf is probably what's it really well i mean what what's the metric like the, the, easiest easiest the, to make fun of the, no, or there's, there's most, no metric it's most just, entertaining who's your favorite everybody oh. everybody in the chat, who is your one favorite flurf? And there is no metric. It's just answer that question. No, no metric. Yeah, what's it then? I mean, who else goes to Mount Rushmore and says, you know what? Fuck it. I want to get arrested. Holy crap. There's a lot of CC. Who is CC? Chris. <coughs> CC. I don't know CC. Fr from Westchester County. I don't know. Good that. afternoon. Good morning. Wherever you may be. I do so not. I'm not from Mallory, Earth, no. Mikey Smith. Uh, CC. Wow. Dave Kircher says D Marble. That D Marble has been out for a long time. Delco says Witless. There's two no one Witless. else is saying what's it. Two. I'm the only Just two. It? Just, two. Just two. Wow. Oh, Nico says Brian Mabbitt. And a lot of Mallory. Hey, wait. Okay, okay. M most pertinent to tonight. Uh huh. How many have said uh, leaky? None. I don't think oh, I saw any. Oh, leakies. leaky! I'm so I'm so sorry. You know, way back, and and I've been here for what 20, 30 years now. Yes, uh, definitely. Brian and you were friends. Yes. I remember back I, in the in the in the like 1999s when you guys yeah, it was got along. Ba back in 1962, actually, yeah, we 62, we, yeah, yeah, whatever it was. But I remember yeah. watching on the um uh, uh, the bulletin boards as they were. Yep, you would you would mail in your letter and then they'd yeah. post it up on the and board. You would answer, and you and him were like BFFs. I just I seen it. I seen it with my own eyes. Oh my gosh. All right. So so for reference, neither Mallory nor Rachie counts. You can't you have to actually be serious. But yeah, Merritt likes I am oh, oh all right. Who's Merit. Mallory? Who's Mallory? Okay. Maybe have I don't want what's it to on. be my favorite. Maybe I do not know all the flurfs. Have you never experienced the Mallory? No. Her computer it's a name unfamiliar her, to me. Her computer got a virus on it. It got installed with Malloryware. I have never heard of of this person. Oh my gosh, Gowden's, I've never heard of them. Gowden never says, "Who's them. Mallory? You know who Mallory is." I do uh, not know who Mallory is. So, you, yeah. so, of all the things I would lie about, who I know is not going to be on the list. God, man, man, yep, it's a lot of Mallory. So, Merritt, all right, I'm curious so wait, about Mallory just, 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 is the favorite flurf. I think she's yeah. I think she's winning. Um, wow! So the, can you make a poll? I can't do. I can only do four in the poll. So I'll do Mallory, CC. Um, wits it, my wits favorite. It, wits it, and then has to be on the poll. And favorite. other, other. Just make uh, make oh, yeah. the fourth right. other. If, if if other wins, then we have to go to a second round poll. So keep. Yeah. So don't. So if one of your Favorites is not the three. Vote for other, right? Because then yeah, we have to but, go. But right. but vote wits it because my favorite All right. wits it. I mean, who else has gone to Mount Rushmore and said, you know, I want to be arrested? 
uh, wits it. it. Wits it. Wits it. <laughs> Mallory. I mean, he gets it. No, he doesn't. Well, he says he does. He says his name. Yeah, but but you know what we we know about Witsit? Okay, he never supports his claims. They need they need some time to think about answering, and and in the meantime, let me ask you this: Ask, what does the dyslexic pirate say? Ra. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, just to <laughs> fill the time. Just to fill the time. Uh, Luke Filewalker said that Mallory Ware joke made me chuckle. And <laughs> you now can't even look, keep a straight face. People you look weird even, at me. You can't even. You can't even talk about it with a straight face. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness, Mallory is getting thirty-three percent. Illuminati confirmed. No, it's Ooh, Wits is going to win. Cece is Wits edging. It. Come on. Come on, guys. Wits it. Wits, it Wits is it's at where it's at. 5%. Wits it is the boss. 5%. All right. Hey, if anyone Nico, was going to topple. Nico, if it's if any, look, look, guys. Look, guys. Listen. If anyone was going to topple tune, it would be Wits it. He, of, of all the people that have dedication and like, you know, pizzazz, it's, it's Wits it. Pizazz. In fact, in fact, Pizazz. I have it on good authority that Toon made Witsit. <laughs> Pizzazz. Um, Pizzazz. Oh, hold on. Let's ask Witsit. Witsit, what, what, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm a stupid flat ortho, right? And I'm just a loser. All right, if you say so. Yeah, he does. He is. Yeah. But it's a quote. It's okay. Yeah. That should not influence the polls. Yeah. And Austin, you are a poll worker. Austin, you are a poll worker. Austin, on on flat Earth, how does the sun set? We don't have a model. Oh, you don't have a model. Well, then you lost. Wait, do the do the video where um Witsit said he caught you cheating, but in fact Witsit was the one that was cheating. Oh, it wasn't Witsit that thought I was cheating. It was Quantum, quantum Eraser. Eraser. That yes. I was cheating oh my god. When it was actually Witsit. Yes. Oh, that was a wonderful moment. In fact, that was the first place I heard of you. If it hadn't been for Quantum Eraser, I'm not sure I would have found you. And if only we could have that have happened instead of what did happen. Yeah, but but in fact, okay. in fact, in my uh, flat Earth uh, research, which I was doing for myself, I found Quantum Eraser. And and in his channel, I found him exposing a Glober, which happened to be you. And the expose was the very video we're talking about. I love that one. That was so perfect how aggressively he was hating on the person that was coaching. And it was with him. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, the poll is, is the poll. So far, the poll is 36% Mallory. Five percent wits it. Five. And Come on, guys. Six percent. So all others get only twenty six percent. Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. I need your help. <laughs> Omega Red says I vote for Sam and those rocks. So Sam was on. Wait, wait. What Facebook. does other have? Twenty seven. Twenty six. And what does Mallory have? Thirty six. Fucking Christ! Can't we get other to win at least? Come on, guys. Of all, this is what's amazing. Of all the other flurfs that people could potentially vote for, every single one of them bunched together can't beat Cece. But why? Okay, okay. Why do they like Mallory so much? Because of the, the like, scent or what? The scent? I mean, uh, Mallory's can't... the only woman there, so I'm assuming there's, like, pheromones or, or like, male testosterone or... There's no other right, reason right. which it would right. lose. Let There's me, just no just, other just, reason which it would lose. You can't okay. smell over the internet. Just you know, smell a vision. Smell a vision it doesn't exist. Um, smell a vision. Are you unfamiliar with smell a vision? I I yep, I am. Yeah, I can I, sell you a new I, computer. I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, when you laugh, you validate. I do? Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, D- Nico says do another three. The winner of the another of the three. two round get in final poll. No, no other three. If Mallory fucking wins this over Witsit and other, then fuck this biased it's ass. Not going where bullshit. you wanted to go, huh? No, it isn't. All right, there we go. There's, there's, there's the one. Um, I've never right. even. I don't even know who Mallory is. Ah, oh, that's your loss, I guess. Um, Apparently so. <laughs> is Mallory available now? Can we? Could we make this a three-way? No. No, do not use those that phrase. Don't can that can phrase. somebody go? Okay. Can somebody see? Could if they we can use? Track, could we make this a third way? I, oh my gosh! All right. Okay. Who do we got? Could we make this a triway? All right. We got Sam. Who else? Think... Flatzoid. Um. Who else? Dude, there's still 558 people watching this. I don't know. There are. I I know. I just checked. Uh, 500 people. Mikey Smith. There you go. All right. There it is. There I go. There I the polls up. It's 437 that are watching right now. No, Uh, I have 558. Icy Spin says. You've lost a lot. To be fair, Mallory isn't a flurf. Dell Nico's wants to vote for Dell. Wait, you you what? Oh, hold up, Mallory's not a flurf. The question was, that, what's your favorite flurf? That and you that put a is, non-flurf in the that list. Is the accusation? That's fucked. That's and the you accusation. know that's fucked. Yeah. Why would you put non-flurfs I, in a poll I, of a favorite flurf? Well, if if you if you were to exclude everybody that's ever been accused of being a non-flurf, then or a poe, then nobody would be on the list. So, well, okay. Has wits it the um? What what about Piche? What do you think of Piche? What do I think of Piche? Yes, I I I'm I'm uncomfortable with the number of times I've been asked that. That's what I think. Oh. Well, but and and I've been tricked. Question. I've been tricked because you deflected like a flurf. Well, well, yeah, because I've been tricked with this Pete Shea question, <laughs> and I thought it was like a serious question, but then all of a sudden we were talking about. Oh, like, there you go. Urine. Liz K just said, "Wits, it's a poem." Yeah. See, there see, you you're, you you want to like turn this into some discussion about urine? That's what the Pete Shea thing is. Uh, P- Pete Shea yeah. is a dog whistle about about urine. Because and it's not like, cool. Because you like thinking about that topic. What about Santos? I don't. I actually got blindsided it by it once. And now I'm like more alert to it. And you, so you say, what do you think about Piche? And I'm like, you know what? So if, if I anybody, heard that name. Just, if anybody's rolling around Discord rolling and you around. roll into Roland, yeah. then, uh, then be sure to remind Roland about all of the, the piss drinking flurfs because he okay. loves that so, topic. So first of all, first of all, that's not true. Second of all, uh, don't do that, Mister oh. Tab Boy. What's yeah. in that? What's in that fake tab can? By the way, it's my tab can. Red red wine, I bet. Red wine. I don't like wine. Um, you don't like wine. No, sorry. Okay, then why do you wine so much? Mm-hmm. All right. Yes, you like the um. What are they? Those like dark Mike's hard, Mike's like the hard Mike's limited, hard yes. things that are, but are, but they're dark, and you pour them into the. Yeah, don't don't. Oh, now now, go off camera. Go off camera. Give us a. Yeah, and now bring the tab back. See, folks, now you know what's in the tab. There you go. <laughs> not, like it's, not like it's a secret. Um, all right, Merits. I, I need to ask Merits. Merit. Not like it's a secret. Merit says Merit is talking about Mikey Smith. Merit likes Mikey Smith. I I I keep trying to get him to come on. He won't. Um, but if 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 anybody can go over there and convince him, help him to build up the courage to uh, to face me. I, It'd be fun. So, um, 
Okay, okay. I've actually got an, a fun question. All right. That that for you, really, most of all. We're doing polls. Roland V. Leaky. Yay or nay? It's uh, two answers. Yay or nay? Up or down? Roland V. Leaky. Do you want this to be a poll question? Yeah. Do yeah. do 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 your folks want to see me do what you couldn't? <laughs> All right. There Roland V. Leaky. All right. So the the previous poll, other one with thirty one percent. Mikey Smith at twenty nine. Sam at twenty. Wait, wait. Flash other one. Other, yeah. Yeah. But what did, uh, what's her face come in at? Mallory got 37. And what was other? In that poll, other came in at 26. Mallory got 38. Oh, so, so Mallory won. Yeah, Mallory won. Yeah, I don't even know Mallory. That is, I don't know, to your loss or to your benefit. She's, uh, um, is she angry? She, I know, like, no, there, no, do you know no. Shines? Do you know no, Shines? Shines is angry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no. Is Ma Mallory, Mallory like Shines? Is, Mallory is uh, people either love or hate her. Oh, is she angry? No. No. Is she right? She's a flat earther. So, no. No, I, yeah, I said, is she angry? She's not angry. Is she right? Is she um, willing to? Oh, okay, okay. Does she know algebra? No, she does not do squiggly math. Oh, squig. Wait, that's what she calls. I'm it. sorry. <laughs> you get, you caught me off guard there with the with that word. That's what she says. Oh. Squiggly math. Okay, what does she do? Um. She provides comedy. Does she do a, a algebra, arithmetic? Uh, Again, no squiggly math. Oh, yeah, okay, good. Not squiggly math, but that's an adjective, squiggly. What about non-squiggly math? Uh, all math to her is squiggly. Then why use the adjective? Uh, I, you'd have to ask her. I would love to. Yes. Make it happen. Right now, uh, well, people have I think uh, tried to get a hold of her, but uh, she says that she's a, a, a substitute school teacher, which is um, oh, they very... must be a very busy people. I, I I imagine they must be called on every day. You know, yes. I hurt my ankle. I was in a car accident. I'm a bit sick. I'm very tired. I don't want to deal with the fucking third graders. Whatever. I, I imagine a substitute teacher is like every goddamn day. Yeah, I don't I don't know about about all y'all's school, but when we had a sub, we were not on our best behavior. Oh yeah, I'm not talking about the students. Ever. I'm talking about the teachers. The teachers are like, you know, I hurt my ankle, I'm a bit tired, yeah. I, I got the flu, you know, I gotta go get my COVID shot or whatever. I was in a car accident. The yeah. teachers are just full of excuses. And if you're a sub, every fucking day you have to deal with the whiny teachers and the people like Toon that are your students. What suck. a fucking rock and hard uh, place. All right. So anyway, Mallory, come on. So there so somebody else has already asked me and apparently confirmed a debate with Mallory. So uh dibs have been specified. We'll see if that happens. Actually, well, if yeah, I really they can go back, have their dibs, Bryant, but if Mallory Bryant Myers all near uh, I think it was around probably nine months ago, agreed to debate Mallory. So that probably should be the first one to happen. Wow. 
So, like, even if Mallory were to just join this Zoom right, oh, right now, now, yes, right now, yes, you would have to just shut her down. Because... No, 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 if she popped in right now, that'd be fine. How about this? Since Mallory is so popular and loved, can we get a Mallory impersonator? Uh, Team Skeptic is not available at the moment. But, but but you got uh, what? Well, like at least three hundred people still listening. Yeah, well, Mallory yeah, impersonators. The, Brenda, the best Brenda, Mallory step up. Now, the best Mallory impersonator is Team Skeptic. Team Skeptic is so good at impersonating Mallory that it's basically Team Skeptic. Wait, Mallory is skeptic, or skeptic is Mallory? Uh, Team Skeptic is Mallory, some people think. Okay, Tune. Look, let me level with you. Okay. Do you know the game Peekaboo? Um, I'm not. No, that it, we're not going that direction. Nope. We are. We're going there. <laughs> Do you know how the game Peekaboo works? Nope. I have no idea. Okay, one person puts their hands over their eyes. Maybe you could do that right now. And then they say, you know, something like, oh, a picture. Oh, here comes the Sharpie and the pad. Yeah. We're going to diagram peekaboo. Oh, I've already, my I've God. I've already got it. I've got cookie yeah, monster. There here. you go. There nice. you go. Okay, so. Now, supposing you got a paper cut. Okay. Where do you take somebody that got injured playing peekaboo? I don't know. To the ICU. Oh my gosh. That's, <laughs> it. That's it. That's it. We it's definitely time to wrap up. Luke Filewalker <laughs> said the only wine I like <laughs> is the one in a Linux environment. Yes. I uh, I always run run headless on Linux. You got out your Sharpie and your pad. Yeah, I know Sharpie wasn't was hurt in the. Oh, uh, Sharpie today. was hurt today. Um, jeez. <clears throat> the uh, yeah. All right. Yes, yeah, so I run Linux headless normally. I I don't I don't do GUIs on Linux. What about you? Let it be known. Do you do? I owned him. Do, do you do joke. do you do GUIs on Linux or do you just do headless? Headless. Okay. Um, I see. Spin says, "Do Flurfs actually believe the GUI?" Mallory... Wait, hold on, hold on. Let's go back. GUIs on Linux? Oh, I know. Some people do. It's it's funny. It's it's I... cute. I see. Yeah. I got confused. Yeah, I was. It... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. Um, I see Spin says, do Flurfs actually believe Mallory's legit? I don't think, I have no idea. She's, she was on Facebook Flurf groups. That's where she got her start. Anyway, then I see Spin says she was on the top left as an honorary presenter, right? No, she, well, she, I don't think she was a presenter, but she was nominated. Um, nominated that's it um uh i was gonna say something you know and i'm not i'm not remembering I, I i can help you out okay which is why you brought me here oh do you is. remember okay. brian leakey the guy you were talking to i do do you remember that whole discussion about perspective yes okay and do you remember that whole like it's um i i can't even tolerate the idea that you would talk about perspective without refraction yes and 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 i just refraction right because it makes the earth seem flat therefore or something what was brian leakey trying to tell us he was being pedantic and refusing to admit yes. that he was being pedantic about well, no well, okay he was being pedantic but you are the one refusing to admit 
to his pedantic games. Yeah, I was refusing to. Well, yeah, because he was trying to take something you said out of context and yes. force you to pedantically admit that uh, it, out of the context you were wrong, and therefore in the context you must also be wrong. All right, hold on a second. To... Speaking of pedantic, Daryl Frost says X Windows is a GUI <laughs> for headless systems. Yes, I know. I will dad joke you again if you don't own up. Okay. Um, no, I'm I I so so beyond that uh, that conversation with Leaky, it was just just dumb. Yeah, but you've got at least two hundred people still and, and, trying to sort it out. I don't think there's any sorting needed. They all know that <laughs> Leaky was being a douche. Um, douche. This douche. was the douchiest encounter I've had with Leaky. You know, it is weird because uh, I saw, saw you guys like a while back and I thought you were quite friendly. And uh, I thought Brian Leakey was like a, you know, I don't know how you say in, in air quotes on Zoom, but, you know, reasonable adversary. Reasonable. Yeah, I'm trying to put that in air yeah. quotes, though, because tonight... yeah. He, he he seemed rather how do I put it in air quotes? Upset. He's like an upset adversary. So I mean he did not want to talk about the questions. The topic that I present I mean, No, I he had came with an agenda. Video. Dude, absolutely I yeah. sat through the video and 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 I swear to God I will not sit through another video like that. that I was, gave you the benefit of the doubt. Was I, 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 His, I I sat, I listened, audio. I was so confused. The audio is confusing. Who was talking? Was it actually MC Toon talking right now? Or is it just an overlay of a fucking video from before? It, the video is all broken. Now it's speeded up. Now it's slowed down. It's all obviously it was... mocking. Why aren't there moderators? Oh, the anger yeah. was real. But I gave you the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. And, I you speak know, for all of us. And, and we hated that video. When when I had when I talked with him on Jaren, he gave me a formula for bottom up obstruction. He did. And yeah, tonight, but that doesn't have for anything it, he, to do with the video that he spent. Oh, I know. At least what twenty minutes of my yeah, life listening to. It was it was bad, so bad. So the speed ups, the slowdowns, the like obviously mocking, the cherry picking, like, the anger was real. Do, do you want to see? I, I, and I don't like you that much, but I felt anger. All right, this is this is what he sent me when I asked for the formula. This is the actual formula for bottom up obstruction. I said, this "Where is what are he you sent. sending this to me?" Because I'm in the Zoom now. It's it's oh, you're not looking at the. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking at, dude. Would you mind look at your Discord? No, I'll share the screen. There you go. That's what he sent when I when Radians I asked. Radians equals. That's what he shared or you shared. <laughs> yeah, I said. Can you explain the form? Can you give me the formula? Because I formula did not for write it what? down for bottom up obstruction. Oh God, damn, dude! I am on, like. Okay, dude, this is what he gave me for bottom up obstruction when I asked for it. Radians oh. equals one point two two times lambda over d. It's it's what's what's radians? What? Why are we doing radians? Then he goes degrees equals radians times one eighty over pi. Thanks, okay, Brian. That's good. That's good. No, wait, wait, wait. Good that's job, true. Brian. That's a good job. And yeah. then he goes degrees over two equals a. <laughs> okay, wait. What's a? A is the angle. On the left side of the triangle there. Okay, hold on, hold on. Degrees over two. Okay, what's degrees? So, so well, hold on, hold on. I don't know. Because the what's very first B line. Tan? What, what's B tan? I would think B I'm sorry, times hold on. Tangent. I got all confused. The bottom line, what's B tan? It's B times tangent. The length of side B times the tangent of A. But but the very oh, first oh I see it's but, not like arctan or something. But the problem is the very first one, line radians equals one point two two times lambda over d. What's d? Where 
is D. Do you, do you, do you want me to show you the D? Where's, do you want me to show you the D? I don't want to see your D. I no. Do you want me to show you the D? <laughs> there's no. There's no. Because you sounds like you're it's saying, "Show me there. the D." It's not even there. You're saying, "What's the D? Show me the D." Now you're saying, "No, no, no, no." I, I know. Right. <laughs> this is what Which he is gave it, me. Tune? Which is it, Tune? This do you want to see the D or do you not? No. I. This is seriously. Come this on. is how can I? I asked him. We we're chatting. It was friendly. Okay. I will stand in. Discord. I will stand in for Brian Lee. <laughs> Do you want to see the D or not? No, not yours. Not mine. No. Well, whose do you want to see? I don't. Re nobody's. <laughs> okay, then why did you specify mine yeah, in I, your previous I, statement? Let, let me re-answer. No. <clears throat> I see. Okay. So then why are you questioning this formula? <laughs> yep, obviously. <laughs> so, Either you want to see the yeah. D so, right. or you want so, to understand so, the so formula. Clive, which is Clive it? Well, Clive Wells knows and I know Do this. You see wait, well, hold on. No, you tune, need tune. stop. No, no, no. Do I, you I'm see Brian Leake's superior intelligence now? No. no. Like right. like he let, let, hold on, stop. Stop, stop. He stop. knew you didn't want to see the D. Stop rolling. Stop. Listen. Okay. Clive Wells got it right that that formula is borrowed from the Rayleigh criterion. D is the diameter of the aperture. So how mm -hmm. big is the aperture? Well, for your <laughs> eye, it's a different size than for a camera. And of course, a camera can vary its aperture as well. So if the amount of obstruction is related to the Rayleigh criterion, then a modification of the aperture will modify how much is obstructed bottom up. But of course, that never happens. Okay. I think I've followed. And I still have a very important question about the Rayleigh criteria. Okay. If I applied the Rayleigh criteria to your D, is it like help or hurt? You know, from here, using the Rayleigh criteria, is it uh, going to be a, a big D or a little D? Uh, it's going to be a that conversation is done is what's going <laughs> to happen. So here is... I'm just this... trying to be Brian Leake. I'm trying to help yeah, you out right, as you... if Brian Leake didn't shout all, right, all over all right. you. A, a little... Okay. A, yeah, and you, you're kind of... You're, you're doing an impersonation of him right now. So here's the Rayleigh criterion. Here, there is if I was going to impersonate there. him, I would interrupt you, which I'm not doing. So carry on. Which you totally did. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> so here is the circular aperture there. Sine of theta sub r equals 1.22 times lambda over d. Right? There it is. 1.22 times lambda over d. But he says radians. <gasps> Go back. Instead of back. sine of theta over sine r. Sine of theta of r. Wow. So the formulas didn't, didn't quite make it correctly but almost they almost made it i mean he got the 1.22 he, he got the right side of the equal sign the left side of the equal sign he just left his radians well fuck the left dude they're all like trying to ban our guns and stuff different left <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so uh, and they love this. Anytime you see a 1.22 from a flat earther, you know that they're doing this. They they think that they understand Rayleigh criterion, but they don't. So anyway, so for people that know, oh, this is from hyperphysics. Um, yeah. Hyperphysics has uh, stuff on uh, E and M as well. By yes, the way, yes, yes. So yeah. If all parts of an imaginary system are considered to be perfect. Imaging. Oh. oh. Then the resolution of any imaginary process will be limited by diffraction. Considering the single slit expression above, then its wavelength is equal to the slit width 
The angle for the first diffraction minimum is 90 degrees. This means that the wave is spread all the way to the plane of the slit and will not contain resolvable information about the source of the wave. This leads to the simplified statement that the limit of resolution of any, any imaging process is going to be on the order of the wavelength of the wave used to image it. Okay. Were you actually listening to the first, like, um, I don't know, 20 ish minutes the, that uh, Leaky was talking? I was trying. I, 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 for the most part, I've tried to expunge it from my memory now. But you were like, so like at least halfway trying to listen. I I've suppose. just, I was trying to listen. And it seemed like he was he was doing his very best to say prove math but if you use math you're gaslighting me that could be and and i really wanted to reconcile it i wanted to understand better his mindset because i i just i didn't really understand what he was asking you can't you. reconcile i wanted to though he he had a question. He wanted to learn something. But he wasn't or know even something. talking. He, but he wasn't. We didn't get to this topic today. Well, he was trying to get there. I mean, uh, he was talking about. Well, he he was talking about Snell's law and and regretting it. But he no, he's trying know. to blow it off. He. He said, well, "That's why I said regretting it." He missed it, <laughs> and I didn't miss it. I don't know if other people got it, but he tried to claim that refraction doesn't happen because it's the same medium that it's going from I, air. I, I, to, I, yeah, I heard that staying also. in air, and and that right while he while he himself has shown videos of lasers bending through, um, bending through water. So he knows that refraction happens in the same medium, but just hand wave dismisses it. So, so this Riley criteria. Okay, you could speak to your. What do you have? One hundred and twenty folks still watching this painful live stream, but uh, I guess you could tell them what they already know. But there are at least five flurfs here watching. Yes. And they think that you're fluffing. Fluffing. Talk to the flurfs. Oh, instead, what I'm going to do just is just for I'm a minute. Just for a minute. No, no. Hold on. Okay. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, "Thanks, everybody," but it's time to go. <laughs> um, it's been real. Uh, Brian, Brian, I don't know what happened to him, but uh, what did happen to him? I don't know. But, you and uh, he were friends. Yeah, we got along, but but uh, he got angry. So anyway, yeah, and as did you. Any anything anything you want to add very briefly, but so that I don't have to catch off, Roland? No, nothing. All right, thank you. There was no fluffing that happened, by the way. Uh, <laughs> of we, course not. We, it was we'll, a joke. It was just a joke. All right, people. We'll see you next week, hopefully on Jaren's. Well, I mean, I'll be here. Jaren will be there, and we'll we'll have to. Anyway. Thanks a lot. We'll see you. Bye.